Okay, we're starting. It's going. I've already started my four-hour thunder ambience. Because, screw you. It's not been a minute yet. I can't say that word. Hi, hello. We rolled Destiny. It's very light. People are coughing a lot. You made a joke about loth and chicken. Uh, the funny thing is that obligation actually triggered, so everybody is under the pressure RMR feels about her bar. Maybe she's yelling at people more. Anyway, who knows? Why is it always right when I go to record is when it's like, oh, hey. No, we've already done that episode title off. Um, it's like, oh, you suddenly, you remember those breadsticks you had? Those are gonna, those are gonna hit back on you. God damn it, breadsticks. Okay, uh, before I recap the stuff that happened, and you guys talk about EXP, if anybody actually spent any. Okay, I spent XP, uh, I spent... Okay, I said, I prefaced that with before. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Today's gonna be a weird special day. Let us very quickly shout out to our patrons who continue to grow ever more numerous, like Aga Comics, Architect 10, Black is OG, Carlos Qua, Jeremy Vasquez, Kylie Dunn, Nestor Foyes, Rogue Robin, Shawnee Fee, Some Guy Named Bob, Soto's Onward, Tour, Saturday 23, Video Game 75, and Zach Reed. Thank you so much for your support and stuff. Okay. They're growing in power. Oh, sorry, I think I talked over Lucky's. Team. No, it came out. It, it came out still. Timing. Um, okay. So, last time, you guys. Kicked in a door, and then punched ballistas. We're not punched by ballistas. That was good, because that would have sucked. Oof. Uh, and then some of you may have been slightly struck by arcane lightning. Unknowable yeah. ancient technology? Mystical mm. arts? Who knows? There's a tower that shoots lightning at you. Yeah. If it's something that I can take, I'm taking it. Um, and then you had a big clustered funky fight in the main hall, and that's where we left off. So, yes, John. your EXPs, yes. Yes, okay, so, got counts one with nature and then uh, animal bond. Well, you actually got animal bond. I hope you're not expecting an animal yeah, to, like, just, I, pop out of a corner. I'm not, I'm not expecting, I'm just hold off uh, for now because <laughs> I've got to get everything else. That's fine. She's like, okay, well, that's an interesting choice to do in the middle of adventure. I just you find some to... kind of arcane ferret. He's super <laughs> cool. He does tricks. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my ultimate companion, the Dio Weasel. I, yeah, I, I think a weasel probably would be Dio. Yeah. yeah, the reason why I got it was because, like, I was not feeling alright with just getting the proof <laughs> and the bond before getting that. Well, it Fair. is a little weird, but it. it yeah, it's. It, it, it kind of worked out because it didn't do anything yet. Now, okay, anyway. Um, <clears throat> sorry, clear my throat. Um, so, yes, uh, that's what you did. Who wants to go next? I got, I got, I 20 XP, so I just got multiple opponents. Okay, that's a good one. That's probably a good one. Okay. Let's see. For Arma, she just picked up two levels of sense, which just increases her ability to dodge. Who doesn't love dodging? The dodging is great. Danger sense. I think you've said this and before, but that's the thing I really like about the way this system handles force powers is instead of like having to buy one singular force power for like every little thing, you've got the broad trees, so you buy the sense power and you can sense emotions and also sense life forms and also sense danger, you know? Mm -hmm. danger. Like it, it lumps a lot of the sensory abilities into one big tree you slowly buy up. Because it's so varied anyway, so like, Okay. Yeah. Alright. That's everybody and, who's lost is still in EXP yeah. timeout. I'm on EXP timeout. I'm on twenty five at the moment, but on timeout because yeah. Soz, uh you guys are outside a tall spooky tower that shoots lightning. It's very rainy. There are no handrails. God damn it. Yep. No oh shut with sharp pointy rocks. Did anyone bring rocks. pythons? Did anyone bring pythons? Bring what? Pythons. No. I, I have, have a, I have a row. I thought there were pythons. I, I have climbing gear and a row. I've always heard of pythons, but let's not Go into the specifics. I, I, yeah, I just didn't want to. I just, didn't, is, I just thought that was the before you said. is the bane of all adventurers. A door. It's closed. Oh no! Um, also, I would like, like to cast a slight evil on the door. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the door has no force rating, and its morality is fifty. Mm, <laughs> this that's is a your one possession ability. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the um, Let's see. Uh, we should probably think. We should probably should we take a squad. We should take a squad. Yeah, I, I think uh, we already because we would check this in the barracks, right? 
The what? Well, there's in different directions, so. Yes. yes. So the barracks is in the other direction. I mean, we're we, need, we, we need to take out we need to take out lightning towers so we can get the rest of our air support down here. Yes. Yes. So currently I believe the the bulk of your force is in the main hall holding that down, maybe occasionally mm-hmm. fighting a skirmish from the barracks way. Mm-hmm. Um the rest of your your air support and units are in orbit, though uh Loth is not speaking right now, but I believe it was him who suggested that you you could just land them one at a time at the docks. That'll be very slow. But mm-hmm. you could theoretically trickle in through the very tight choke point of the storm gate that way. Mm-hmm. But then those guys have to sprint across the open courtyard and possibly get lightning, so... Yeah. No. Yes. Six one, half dozen the other. Um, so yeah, the um, on the right side of the map, because my right hand does not form an L, um, there is that circly thing with that little L, L-shaped L dongle going to it. Those are the stair- stairs you were standing on. The circly mm-hmm. thing is the observation tower, mm-hmm. uh, okay. as it is called. And then the other side, the box with the uh, dotted line circle oval thing, which that's an underground structure you can't quite see, but you know is there for reasons, mm. Um, mm. is that way. Uh, so that's the barrack. The the yeah. rectangle is the barracks and storage room off the main hall, and then there's the underground thingy bob. And the pentangle is the uh, inner courtyard, but that's a different question. So door. So, so door. So Someone take your the- traps. So should, uh, I assume that, like, camo and boots would be, like, on either side of the door, and then one of the Jedi will open it? Yeah. A valid tactic? A valid Just for, like, breach positioning? Yes. But will yes. someone check it for traps? Stack up and prep the door. Check. I mean, honestly, well, I that, should probably be your, that should probably be your arc. He seems like he has the best eyeballs and traps on yes. the team. Yes. Yeah. Just to ask, is, like, is there... Whenever we should to, like, just checking for traps as a thing in this... Two times we encountered these kind of fuckers, there was traps. Alright, fair. Uh, let's try Skull Tuggery for this. Okay. Roll. Uh, let's go with average, uh, with two setback dice for rainy darkness. Alright, uh, I'll take one now, because arc armor. Hmm. Okay, yeah, lots of having fireplace flashbacks. Mm hmm. Uh, let me just check one more. I just have to check my talents again just to see if there's one thing that actually affects this. Probably not, because Skullduggery is not really super core. It's not, yeah, it's not moving through terrain or managing environmental effects. <clears throat> okay, most of my food has been consumed. I'm now down to tiny popcorn chicken and chips. Yeah, that's it. Alright, that's this. Okay. Five, six, mm. Five, two, mm. Okay. Alright. Uh,. Okay, I got it. Um, very quickly, uh, very quick and dirtily, unfortunately, is uh, you you do make a lot of clanging clapper. Um, you check check and secure the door. Uh, there's no obvious traps, no trip wires, no pressure plates, no none of that. It appears to be your standard ass, you know, half circled type. <coughs> very scratchy throat today. Sorry. Um, you know, it's a standard issue double door. It is barred. Um, you have. Actually, are you carrying your lockpick and tools? Yes, I am carrying my lockpicks. Okay, so you've got your hooligan bar. You can literally just get in the crack and just pop the yeah, door okay. out of the bar. It's just, you can do all that pretty fast. It's just not quiet. So if there's people inside, they probably heard you jiggling the doorknob. Yeah, fair. Uh, but yes, there do not appear to be any traps. Cool. Kind of like gives all like the position land sign. I just feel like it's a position. Like, also, how loud is the storm right now? About two dice worth. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Um, I would like to bring a squad o dudes. All right. Squad dudes, uh, assemble! Hey! They just come in. They, they, they pose. Awesome. Sentai team. Um, let me just put them into a fucking easy... No, do not type easy leadership check. That is dumb. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have to let make it. They're gonna get into hecking. What was it? Um, fuck it, close. I want. We gonna we gonna shoot people. I guess. All right. Oh, so I it's huge. Okay. So everyone posts up on the fucking door. Yes. Yeah. You give them the signal. <laughs> reaching. There is a there is a close nah, You give them the scary. you give them the signal. Stack up on the door. Yep. Which for those at home, uh, 
stacking up is what refers to when you do, in fact, stack up at a door. So whenever you see, like, army or cop guys standing, like, you know, five five guys in a row on a door, one guy opens it, one guy's ready to go in, the last guy's always looking behind him, that's stacking up. Yes. So they do that. Okay, cool. And Arma will... Open the door! Ha! Roll initiative! All right. Okay. Uh, you appear to be in some kind of alchemy lab. Um, lab! It's got yeah. various oh, wait, mixing, actually... infusing, and distilling equipment. And oh, wait, drums no, and that, that was a joke? Or, like, actually? No. Yeah. Okay. Actually, roll, roll, roll initiative. for initiative. Okay. Uh, so I'm betting it's cool, then, because we're storming. Uh, there's workbenches, shelves, racks full of stuff, dried plants, mushrooms. You see terrariums filled with dangerous <laughs> creatures. Uh, it's lit by eerie chemical lighting. And there's six cultists in here or- who are very annoyed at you. <laughs> Possibly they're they're holding their needlers sideways, ready to blast you at the door. I don't know oh, yet. Shit. I haven't rolled for that. Them. One of the, one of the, one of them has <laughs> no. like the hands over the ears, like ah oh, god. So they're just yeah, they're just willpower one. So <laughs> I rolled kind of mediocrely. It's a good roll for one guy. Jesus, got that one. Nope, it's not great. Um. <laughs> See, now's a good time to tell you you're going to keep this initiative for the next several floors you don't know, because you may... This may be slightly gauntlet-esque, and you may have to do this encounter, like, three or four times. Uh, okay. okay. That's fun. So, so fours, so, fours, So, are we going to have to, like, literally ones. find our way up, like, the stairways, you mean, and whatnot? Uh, yeah, kind of. There's stairwells okay. and ladders and stuff. Okay, okay. This will be uh, it's, fun. it's literally in my notes that there's, like, half a dozen cultists on every floor. There's an X number of floors, which Omega won't spoiler. So, it's... It's like one of those old Fleming movie scenes of just a dude just fighting it. Just okay. So, uh, Arma, I want to go first. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Actually, um, I'm um, <clears throat> Arma will I? Ooh, mm, mm, that is a thing. I am standing out in the open. Uh, yes. Yeah, you just full blown two towers, double handed those doors open. NPCs do go last, but I do like committing force dice, but that gives me only two to roll bad meditation with. You no, know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I will commit one of my force dice, two cents. So um, the next two combat checks against me this turn are upgraded twice. Okay. And but other than that, uh, Arma will stand openly. And, you know, just uh, point at the mob in general and yell, Get him, boys! And roll battle meditation. I don't need to Oh, yeah. Uh, because... End of rotation, the uh, clone attack? Uh, no, no, they're, they're on Arma. Okay. Um, she already did formation, so they don't get an attack. They're just with her. There. So I'll roll two force dice. Hmm. They're giving her a boost. Hmm. 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 Uh, uh, would you say we're engaged? To start? Since we all have uh, yeah, you're all stacked up around a door. That's pretty close. That's within poking distance. All right, so yeah. um, with the one light point that I got, I will activate battle meditation, and you three guys get one free success. That's all. Cool. Yeah, because in- engaged is, you know, melee range, which is, you know, yeah. a couple of, me- you know, one to two meters. So you guys okay. deliberately did get into close quarters on that door. Locke, yes. you want to go and hit one of the minion groups, because um. you get a... Because uh, I got a shotgun with blast. Because you have blast. Because you have blast on it. I still like have a maneuver, have... but I will take guarded yep. stance. Okay. So if it's another M- uh, PC slot, I'd like to go next, as I suggest, and give them a good round of blasting. Say hello to wife number eight. Ah, say hello to wife number eight. <laughs> so, are they in short range for me? Yes. Correct. <sighs> uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Did you add success? Well, oh, you didn't yeah. Add, but that's two success. Then. Two successes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So let's see then. Um, okay. It was. Oh, excuse me. Oh, jeez. Um, two sorry. or three blast. Two or three to activate blast. It's three to activate. No, two to activate regular blast. Three to activate blast on a miss. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll. I'll give whoever goes next a boost die and activate blast. Okay, what's your damage? But damage regularly, so 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 8, 13. 
Sorry. Ooh. Actually, here's a, here's a question. Uh, does the damage add to blast? Because yeah, remember, I think we were talking success about where, like success, oh, sex is, sex, success at yeah, the blast rating, yes, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. When you okay. trigger it normally, yeah. yeah. Only when normally, though. So it's well, blast out. Yeah. We were, we're not there yet. Yes. Let him work through the numbers. I have to know how many it kills regularly, because there's, there's technically an order of operations that nobody ever cares to learn, because yeah. you guys don't know the rules. What are rules? What are books? You don't know. He's right. I don't know the rules. <laughs> There. Sorry, I was just flying by the seat of my pants. RFTC. <laughs> uh, okay, so Mathos, they got five soak normally. You don't do any pierce on this though, so it's it was thirteen base total, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so we take five, five of that. That leaves eight. That means one of them is dead already. Um, which group are you targeting? Because there's two. Ow. No, just whichever one's closest to me. Make it simple, just do group one. Yeah, group one. Yeah, heads. So that guy, those guys are closer to you. Are you thinking what I'm thinking B1? I think I am B2. Uh, that is what I said also, yes. I thought that's what yes. you said. <laughs> yeah. um, but okay, so those guys are taken care of, and then you do blast seven. So you yep, do we know. two damage to everybody in that minion group. Right. And that's the end of that. Take that! One guy takes the brunt of the, the, the shot, and the other gets some spray, and they just kind of... Okay. Whoever goes next gets a boost die. Right. Or if you want to go, but, like... I think Don't you have quick strike, buddy? Oh, yeah, I was just... Any of the rotation yeah. works, I just... I didn't want to, like, shoot over one of you guys' shoulders. I just said axe, so go axe. Okay. Right, let's do this. Also, uh... Off the you ever use a maneuver, or... That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. I probably would use it to just be in cover uh, behind the I mean, you didn't use it, so you can just duck into cover. It's fine. Yeah. Right. I mean, cover behind the door. Cover. Oh, doorway. You know what I mean. Yeah. I you pop around, around the door, door, blam, door. pop back. All right, let's it's see. like the scene in Hot Fuzz. It's been a while since I've actually shot these things through a while, so I can't even actually like, check all my dice. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I think last time you honestly did a lot more sprinting and punching. Uh, yes. Because yeah. there was just a bunch of them in melee range. Uh, this would be easy, but it'll be made average because I'm two and I'm not easier. Actually, I get. Oh my god, I get three boosts. So it's like. Uh, I like get seven boost dice. I hate that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you don't get like seven boost dice. That's a lot of boost dice. Yeah, let's see. Two for each of them and then three for quick strike because I have two of it plus the thing and the equipment. Boost! Then, then plus blues from one. Oh, uh, yes. But thank god Actually, you, know. you can't take. What's the gun? Spitfire, I think? Spitfire, Spitfire one? Whatever. Yeah. That's the I can get a thing to give me something to give my to give a weapon one time auto fire, but I run out of ammo. Well, I know, that doesn't matter. I'm I uh, Spitfire is the split groups, so you can't oh, okay. be like, Oh well I didn't need to roll those dice to kill those guys, I'll just kill those other guys over there. Yeah. That would that would mean that there'd have to be like more groups than you could possibly hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty good. I don't have uh, this is a very so important be, point. That's um, 15 each, yes. Okay, but which which group are you targeting? The one that oh, was the already group, wounded the or that the... Been shot. Okay. Alright, so what's your total damage? 15? It's 15, and this would be second twice, so... Okay, so... Wait, you do have pierce on this, right? Uh, uh, yes. I also actually have... I also have point blanks, so it's actually more. It's truly Eric short. How many point blanks do you have? Two, so it'd be eight plus the one, so that's nine, so it's actually 17 each pierce two. Jesus. I mean, you could have done that also. You already did 15 and add 2. Anyway, um, okay, so Pierce 2. All right. So we take away 2 soaks. They got 3 soaks, so that's 17 minus 3 leaves 14. Scratch off 5 for that guy. He is dead. Scratch off 3 more soak out of 9, so that leaves 6. So the second guy is dead. So with your first shot, you get 2. You will spend... Was it only one advantage because you're paired, right? It's only one because it's paired, yes. Yeah. So then I have two left. So, yeah. You spend one advantage with you have two left to take out that whole group in a yes. blam 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 of gunfire. Blah. And then I'll take and then I'll probably I'll probably like take cover and then okay. uh, use the two remaining advantage to give two boosts to Marv because he's going next. Okay. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep. Camo also pops around a corner. Blah blah blah. Pops okay. back. Okay. Great. So there's Okay, there's one. Okay. I'm going to go after the group that's that lost target. My own 
probably could do two different actions, but I think well, that's know, good because the that the other group that Loft didn't target are very dead. Headshot! 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 Foot shot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going. He does a behind the back shot just to show off. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, probably. <laughs> Between the light to, shot. When he did the back from behind the back, he like turned around, flipped his gun in the air, caught it backwards. Okay, so I'm going. <laughs> he gets to... a third pistol <laughs> and does the the fucking Metal Gear Solid Three Ocelot triple Russian roulette. <laughs> anyway, yes, Marth. Um, I'll engage the lost crew. Okay. And then uh, quick draw my lightsaber, and that's what. Then I'll just attack. <laughs> okay, no blues from this. <laughs> oh wait, Hax got three of that. How much do you need to activate? That? I gave you two boost. Okay, okay, I was checking to make sure. <laughs> okay, so any defenses I need now? Nope. Is it just okay. These are just cultist scientist people. Okay. Yeah, 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 buh, 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 buh. yeah there you can check. It is. There are, uh, in the some of the Disney prequel movies, like Solo and uh, Rogue One, there are a couple of blasters based on revolver props, but I don't know if they ever, those ever got stated. All right, because it's like I would totally willing to just go, commit yeah, to the that, revolver also lot. Like, I'm like, out good. of <laughs> the out of the range of the Bellman, so I don't have success. Yes, but these guys are very dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's Andy. eight. Eight damage breach add your, one. Add, add your one success from battle meditation. Nope, we literally covered that. No, he's okay. outside of he's outside of the engagement. Okay, range. gotcha. Yep. Uh, so not that it matters because thanks to the power of Loth shotgun, these guys only have like three wounds left, so they're very dead. Because it's like eight. So it's just like breach. So yeah, yeah. Blah. there we go. Yeah. Wanton slaughter. But then, uh, right, well, I don't really have anything else I can do, so I'll okay. just start to stand there. All right, good job. You have taken uh, over the first floor. To cool. the next one, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We can we can search on our way back down. Um, All right, cool. You go up the Troy. stairs. You kick down the next door. <laughs> yes. It's another door. Shit, kick that one down, too. No, uh, you are on the second floor, which looks like some kind of library or archive. Or maybe like an archaeology lab. You see shelves filled with physical tomes and electronic data cards. Uh, some computing equipment. Other stuff. Various technical forms. Um, and it does look like there, there are some work tables where there's some restoration or studying being done of actual ancient records and grimoires. Uh, and there's six more cultists. And it's their okay. turn. Oh shit. Does shit. math. Oh yeah. Uh, so who, who's, who's has opened this door? Okay, well, good thing you still have danger sense, because uh, I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna have him do the needler ghetto blasting. Oh no! <laughs> um, oh, no. like to spend a point to dodge. Ah, okay. That's like three yeah. upgrades now. Yes. Well, well that actually zero. matters. So that means they're rolling two reds, because otherwise right. they'd just be rolling one or yeah. a red perp technically. Uh no wait do you upgrade the twice with sense or just once? Yeah, it's twice twice with sense, once with dodge. So three okay. upgrades total. Yeah, because that's that's the two upgrades you bought was you can do it multiple times and you can upgrade twice. Your sense is actually working out. Nice. Sense is one of those if you were playing a Jedi who's not immediately like, ro- you know, rolling in something like Colossus or one of the other big tanky trees. That's like one of your major ways to not get killed. Is yeah, just like yes. I know I took sense, yes. dude. Dodge. It's your, it's your, the commit for, for stuff is your spidey sense power. Just like, oh shit, I'm gonna get shot. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Quickly. Throw agility boots of the way. Agility three, so this gets two upgrades. But then it's two red. Should they aimst? Sure, why not? They're not doing anything. Roll them. Hmm. It's <laughs> supposed to be, wait, no. Oh yeah, they're it's aiming. Failure, for the but it's something weird and crazy. Yeah. That's very... Uh... That's just impressive, honestly. <laughs> yes, okay, so audience, because you can't see. Because we haven't worked that out yet, nobody says they want to do that. Uh, I have rolled failure, 
but two advantages and two triumphs. So that's why we're hmm. all kind of standing here going, huh? Well, okay. That's all right, hold on. I happened. actually probably should have got the GM Holocron out before, but I will now and actually I look at that really quick. Because I might need some ideas for what to do about this. Yeah. Thank you, Sense. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it would have gone pretty bad otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I know. There was a lot of there's a lot of big failure rules on there. I was just I really I had a cop feeling being like double despair, but I guess I got the opposite. <laughs> no, Sense is supposed to do it's doing. That's a lot of failures. It's just you it's kinda hard to argue with double triumph. Yeah, something. Well, I mean, yeah. Of... Technically, they have they failed, you know. So it yeah. it did do a pretty decent job. So now I gotta now I gotta think thoughts. Squads. Let me see if I can. Can I do anything fun with checks involving squads? Like make you recheck them. Pretty sure you're lying to me, Adobe. There does actually the word squad does appear in here, but uh, I'll figure it out. Thanks. Here you go. Squad and squad rules. Mm. Nah, that's not very helpful. That's not very useful either. Oh, it's not even, also, it's not marked with the triumph symbol. Is that accurate? That's weird. Uh, nah, I wouldn't do that. The only thing the only thing to do targeting is you can spend a triumph to just eliminate a minion, but as much as Pathos would be cool, I'm assuming this is your core squad guys, so just being like, oh yeah, those guys die, I guess, is kind of <laughs> rude. It's also not going to help them at all. Yeah. <laughs> I guess mathematically, if you had, like, a small number of minions, actually reducing it so you had a smaller group would matter, but that's just not going to do anything. So instead, let's just do generic shit. Um, they get uh, next let's check. downgrade Aramaz next check once with one of them and upgrade their allies next check once. Oh, sure. Or uh, upgrade your difficulty, sorry. So um, you're not hit, but um, you basically have to, like, scoot down or something because you're in a big open space and duck mm -hmm. and maybe get separated slightly from your... Clone Trooper friends as there's a hail of needles around you. Oh no. Black, black, black. Or possibly more like psh, 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 psh. you know, needlers. Uh, so the second group will go. I'll take that upgrade and they'll try and hit Arma. Are you going to spend strain to dodge again? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's still three. Yeah. Hmm. How dare. Hmm. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, nine damage pierce three. And you're mm. gonna have to make check for something. Oh no, Ragnarok. Ah, uh, let's see here. No, even if I was to, you said it's Pierce three, right? Yes. Oof. Wait, why do I have? Oh, that's because of that. Okay, yeah. No, so I... Jesus, that means I only have one. So Jesus, that means I take eight. Jesus. Yeah. Huh. Ah, uh, I really don't can't afford. Wait, I don't even have any weapons out. I can't reflect with a fucking gauntlet. Uh... Not really. No, not really. I no, I believe you have that. to explicitly... It has to be with a lightsaber or something to yes. reflect. Yes. If you had a shield gauntlet, that explicitly says you can use the reflect talent with it, but... Yeah. You have you your have shield out, right? Gloves. Nope. And shield doesn't let me reflect. Okay. Um. No, it would just give you more defense, which... Oh, wait, I should probably Actually, be... Yeah, hold on. You I have, have, like, have defense, defense right? Yeah, I do have a point in defense, I just realized, but... It's That's not going to get all the successes, but... Well, but... Nope. That's the other thing. <laughs> it's like, no, they're doing better! Damn you! Know. Yeah, that was black dice. Very spicy. Okay. All right, I assume so you were going to go punch them in this over preacher. Yeah, I was going to go punch them. Now, okay. um, I'm at eight wounds out of eleven. Hmm. And, yep. um... Wait, no, 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 excuse me, seven. I do have... That Pierce 3 leaves me with one... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, carbonation. How dare. Now, luckily, the good thing about Needlers is they have no crit rating whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So, um, there's no need to worry about but, critical injuries, just, ow, it hurts a lot, and also you need to make me a daunting resilience check. I think you get a bonus because if it's racking venom, you have boots nearby. Oh. Also, I, think, I would recommend you spend a force point on this. Hang on, I'm thinking. So I just need um, one. I would like to... Uh, dropping my committed dice is a fucking incidental, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna drop my com my, my, um, my commit, uh, my, um, sense commit. Okay, you will decommit um, your dice. I decommit my dice, so I'm gonna get Giga. What? What is? Well, actually, excuse me, one second. What is the destiny pool? We have a fuck ton of life. Very full, so yes. yes. Um. So destiny L. Oh. So that will give me roll. Y not Giga. Yeah, good. But then I also have Weird. some. Oh. 
with some, well, a whole lot of puh. Four puh, if I remember correctly. Is that. Yes, um, four purple. Don't think. And how does the antidote set work again? I'm pretty sure that's after we've been hit with it, I believe, right? No, it's the to the resistance check. Oh, really? I believe so. That's Moth, did you write down what it does? Let's see on my character sheet. Mm-hmm. Not that Omega would be petty and be like, oh, you didn't write it down, you don't know. But now it's the question of who's going to remember. Ah, uh, yes. I've written down Needler racking, but not what it does. <sighs> no, not that part. Antidote set. Oh, antidote set. Um. Oh, wait, here it is. Reduce difficulty to resist poison by two. Minimum easy, under, minimum easy underworld trick to identify the right kind of poison. Yep, yes, well, let but me you add have to bother with that first part because you're just set up for racking venom. So yeah, no, just go ahead and knock okay. that down to two dice. All right, I will. That's good because this crit sucks. Jesus, you're okay though. <laughs> I'm okay, but Jesus, yeah, it's pretty like close. It. But thanks to the power of the force, you are <laughs> actually <laughs> fine. Um, push the venom out of your veins. <laughs> you could, like... in fact, because you only need one success, you could, in fact, get an advantage on this. I would like to get an advantage and. Try and reverse the strain train just a little bit. That's cool. All right, that's the end of them. Um, I will also like to um say because I have just taken literally half of my fucking wounds in one shot. My was it biofeedback system, whatever, will activate and automatically give me a stun yes. pack. Mm-hmm. That is a thing it does. Yes. So oh, okay. I'm down to two. I'm down to two out of eleven. What I was going to do on my turn was pack. just hit you with a stim pack. Nah, I'm probably heal everything. Yeah. Well, no, it's, um, I only get the standard stem, so I still have two wounds, but no, it's my turn, that's yeah. my turn. Well, no, not my turn, that's their turn. No, but now Boots could spend an action to just roll a medicine check on you and fix you. But yeah, okay. Okay. So who's uh, turn is it now? It's four I'll PC slots in a row. I'll go shoot. Uh, it's two minion groups again, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do this. Open fire. Yeah, take, okay. As Aramak crouches on the floor, going... Yeah, let's take out. Let's let's make sure it's this like is. I, it's like I stubbed my toe against the corner of a building. Ah, oh. <laughs> that was on fire. <laughs> no, it's like I stubbed my toe. It's like I stubbed my toe against a, a cor- like a corner of a table, and my entire body is made out of toes. <laughs> <laughs> and the table was made out of Legos. <laughs> Space it's Legos. like I've been shot full of Legos. <laughs> 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 that sounds that sounds terrifying. The Lego guy. Actually, that sounds like <laughs> a really terrifying non-lethal weapon. Uh, non-Lego <laughs> shot. <laughs> well, you've you been beamed in the head with a Lego. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Actually, shit, is it once per encounter or once per session? Let me double check. <laughs> no defense on their end. And the one from Battle Edition because Arma hasn't gone a second time. Technically true. Yeah. Yep. First, last. Hmm. That's okay, a lot so of those advantage. guys are very dead. Yeah. <laughs> that's like 15 base, pierce 2. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no. And you oh, can hit twice, so they're dead. Shindu. Uh, let's see, what do I do with all of this? I, I Which, by the, by the way, Axe is technically imitating my go-to strat when dealing with Bandogora, because in Bounty Hunter, you do have two guns. So, normally what you do when a shitload of them appear around the corner is you just... Because it's, it, it's uh, one of those games where it fires as fast as you can hit the button. You just... Spam the trigger button until they all dead. Yeah, because it's like you, they seem like if you let them stay around, they just it gets worse, like rapidly. But yeah, so you just blah 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 blah. blah, blah. That's right. I was looking at the armor. Fuck. Okay, let's see. So the advantage table. Yes, you have a lot of advantages. Do you I have, have any like strain seven. right now? I don't actually. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I remember rightly. Everybody came out of the. Yeah. The. Yeah. Last couple of encounters, pretty fresh from strain, except maybe Arama. You got hit by lightning, it took 10 strain. 10 strain. Real lightning. That Norp so yeah. Yeah, most of these don't really do much, so I think I'm just gonna... Let's see, I got 7, so I'm probably just gonna... Who wants a bunch of boost dice? <laughs> I'll take it. 7 boost dice, here you go. I mean, can I... I was about to ask if I can I, have this, but I can maybe try and heal some strain. Well, Actually, yeah, here's the okay. thing. Who, if, if he's doing all 7, literally it's whoever goes next. Yeah. You only get to pick if you do 2 for 1. So, yeah, like, okay. if you just dump Lucky. them all into whoever goes next gets boost dice, that's what it is. Lucky, go next. So, yeah, seven boost dice? Okay. Yeah, seven yeah. boost dice, and I'm going to take cover. Just because I'm going to use all my actions. <laughs> you roll behind, You shoulder roll behind the table. Yeah. Because being out of cover is bad. Yes. 
as uh, Arama wearing. looks like she's just hugged a porcupine. We're gonna keep making needle jokes the rest of the evening, kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's their go-to weapon. Uh, let's see here. So Arma is going to do a Millum punch. Um, so she's going to spend one maneuver to move into a gauge with a um, group that is still standing. Oh, actually, that's a good question. Um, which ones did you shoot? Oh, uh, the ones that probably shot her. <laughs> okay. They're very dead. <laughs> so this isn't about revenge. This is just about dealing with this problem. So, roll. Let's see here. I've dropped my commit, so I have all my force dice. I have oh, three. No, I don't. So, force yeah. punch! And then, let's see here. Fuh, 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 fuh. He said it was seven boost dice? Yes. Yeah. He had seven One, advantage two, and just turned them all into boost dice. Because I have no strength right now. Seven. Uh, no, it's not Gato Blow. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This, Damn. Is, this is pretty much what I wanted. Yes. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> Just turn all those play into success. Oh. Probably, because that'd be six success on top of your base I, damage. I, I think you already double crit, so like you probably get two. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, no, because he wants to spend all that advantage to heal strain. But you could put oh, all true. that play into advantage then. Uh, I'm yeah, but I'm pretty sure you also want to just completely deck these guys. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I kind of do. Let's see, I have do have Pierce 3 on my fists. I do have one Triumph. Yeah, that's a crit. So that's uh, so, that's just a guy is just done, no matter what. Uh, let me check my damage here real quick. Yeah, I uh, think it's base 6? Yeah, it's base 6. Crush guns are like plus 4. Yeah. Yeah, it's base 6. Um, Base 6, Pierce 3. Uh, I do kind of, I do want to end So you're though. 8, so that's... They've only got two well, actually, subjects. actually, let's see. My 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 crit rating, my crit rating is two, right? Two. So if I spend four out of that, I can just end everybody and not have to worry about that. And well, you don't have to. You only have to spend two, and also the triumph, because you would you would definitely do enough damage to drop one with just your your eight total damage, because they only have two soak right now and they have five wounds. So that's six oh, okay. wounds. So you only need to crit twice to also drop all of them. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll crit twice and. Drop all my light side points into the remaining four uh, into advantage. They'll give me eight advantage, and I'll spend all of that on healing strain. Nice. Yeah. So conveniently, there's like you think this stained glass window is too small to throw three guys out of, but it turns out it's not. As you just body punch them, and they comically stack up and all fly out a window. Just <laughs> uh, my gift is actually a lot truer than I thought. They're eerily silent on the way down. Just blah. It's because they can't believe they just got punched out of fucking window. They got the finish traded punch. Mm-hmm. Okay, punch. cool. Uh, I don't actually think I hear you drinking. I hear somebody okay. at their table a little bit. but That was me. Probably me. Uh, it's okay. Because I'm, I'm seeing I my thing light up. I'm like, is it picking me up? Okay, okay so we, I'm... Also, I'm I'm listening to four hours of ambient thunderstorm sound, so... Yeah. No, I, I want ambient thunderstorm. I should probably... I, mean, I linked that. it earlier. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he yeah, did link it earlier. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! I'm sorry. You should be. You will be. <laughs> you oh, no. will be. That's an actual so, okay. quality memus. Um. So yes, technically, it's uh, Bootsen or uh, Cavus's turn. Okay. So there, are no, there are no me- There are no more men's in this room. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Guess. Uh... <laughs> I don't care who goes next. I'll go next. I'll go up to the next door. Kick it open. Yep, kick it open. Take cover behind the um the side. I won't take any action unless that counts as my action. But yeah. No, you'll just uh, you'll just double maneuver. Yeah, move and open, that's right. and then take cover. Move. Yeah. So you kick down the door and crouch by the thing. So what you see is actually uh something that's kind of like an observatory. Probably why this thing's called an observatory tower. Um. It you don't looks say. almost like a sensor room or an air control tower. Um, it's filled with oh. displays for traffic control sensors, meteorological sensors, astrogation sensors, and more. Um, you even see in a corner, though it looks like it's retracted, there's a concealable high-power comms antenna. Mm. Mm. Is there any people in this room? Yes, there are six men pushing buttons. Okay. 
You kick over the door. I like to get like, in Brr. one. Qu- oh damn it! I wanted to get in one quip, but I can't. My own bitch baby rules. I mean, you can. It's been it's been literal hours, and you've been shot at several times. You guys are way too high. <laughs> and I just leave it at there. <laughs> Mark, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, stand Look, man, they're strong on drugs. Yeah. No, it's, but they also yeah, just go burn. Yeah, yeah there's six people there. I can't really get to them, so I'm just going to move, be okay. behind the corner of the to the other side where Loth is in the corner. Alright. Join me. Join me in the wall. Scooch. Okay, it's their two goes. Well, since you guys are just standing there in cover, they have no choice but to shoot you. Shoot with guns. Uh, with yeah, guns? I guess it is well, with needle the... guns. Oh, guns okay. of needles. Outside. Needly guns. But outside, of course. <laughs> Oh, yes, the needle gun. The guns for needles. The needles gun. Oh. The gun specifically designed fine. to fire the needles. Those needlers. Okay, we'll do Cavus first. We're going to yeah. aim. You're at short range, so there's one yes. difficulty. You have defense? I have two defense. I have failed, but with many advantages. Hmm. Bonzies. To the table! Table no, that's until the so end of I couldn't that quite one. find a needle gun, but I did find this. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> uh, I'll get rid of it. Uh, I wonder what Omega's gonna do. I hope it's nothing too bad. No, I'm just looking because I've got to think. I got to think big brain thoughts. Uh, oh, good. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll spend two to free maneuver into cover, and three to give them plus one range defense. So they fire okay. needles, and they as they dive behind a, a console. Brr. Okay. They're super tactical. Now, for boots, what's that your mean? defense? Oh, actually, I realized they did that wrong. They should have two upgrades, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it would have helped them. My defense is one. Well, one plus whatever I get for in oh, cover. Actually, yeah. There should be one It'll more. Be an extra one. I'm pretty sure we failed. Yes, they <laughs> failed a lot. Wow. Yeah! Four badges. <laughs> I um, live, we'll bitch. just add two black to your next check. Jesus. No! As you experience needle PTSD. <laughs> you, see them take off the, you see them take off the door the door jam and you're just like mm. It just have needle go through like go through you for like through your entire armor. Like, I mean he's still today. I think he's still got like a, a, a fucking band-aid over the hole in like his shoulder <laughs> where the needle rifle penetrated him already today. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't think you've taken any time to actually like patch the hole in your armor. No. <laughs> uh, but okay, it's top of the round. Okay. No one would mind. I'd like oh. to go next and I'm immediately sure. fire at them to okay. get rid of the needles. How oh, dare! <laughs> so how, how? So let's see. Two setback dice from what they've given me, and how many setback dice for their defense? Oh, well, they don't have any defense. They didn't, they didn't use any maneuvers to get to cover. Oh, okay. But they just, spend they're advantage? just standing out in the open. Oh, okay. Also, yeah, oh, right, different, different groups. Here. Yep. Yeah. Other than cover. So, three boost and two setback. And range defense. Three boost? You're aiming, right? Oh, yeah, might as well. You're already in cover. Yeah. Already, yeah. You've already, you already have a newer, unless you really, really feel the need to run over to somebody. Hmm. Ha! Well, I miss. Still use blast, I guess. You've also, well, you could, yeah, you could blast. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning on doing. That's three of those. You have two left. Yeah, you. Whoever goes next gets two boost die. Okie dokie. Okay. So your blast is five normally? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, their soak will eat all that. Yeah, Six I'm this. guessing it goes down to four because of the failure. Uh, no, okay. it doesn't, but it's still five, and they have five soaks, so. Curse you and your weirdly armored robes. Well, they also have, like, three brawn. They're not... It's it's weird. Being, being drugged out, it's like being on roids or, like, bath salts. <laughs> Um, they, their brawn and agility is still pretty good. It's all their social skills that are awful. <laughs> Presence one, willpower okay. one, int one. Okay. That okay. makes sense. But yeah, that's me. Okay. Boots firing wildly. He's like, no more needles. You aim a little okay. low and it bounces off the floor and it just gets blocked by their heavy robes. Who wants to go next? I'm I'll go. Yeah, but so yeah. Let the people who shoot things go before me. I assume I, okay, yeah. I have to maneuver to actually get up there because... The two went ahead of us. Yeah. So yeah, we were just get up there, and I guess 
Shoot. Yeah, it's just a, it's a maneuver because it's about short distance to just run up the next set of stairs. Yeah, so we'll just do that and then shoot because I don't... I don't get quick strike because they already acted, so we'll just do this. Uh, but you do get your other thing, right? Because you're moving? Uh, yes. I do technically get... They have to upgrade to attack me. Is it an upgrade? Spicy? Uh, yeah, they have to upgrade their check to it, yes. Okay, that's pretty good. If, they guys, if those guys actually live, that's actually going to matter. Yeah. Just check again. Okay. Yes, equal number of times, yes. All range combat checks are arguing. All right. Go step back. I think that just gets them, yeah. Yeah, well, so what's your two? Total? Would be 13 pierce 2. Yeah, okay, so 13 pierce 2, so let me take. Move, remove 2, because that's. No, remove 3, because that's how I took that guy left. So that's 10, take away 5, that guy's right. dead. Do the whole thing again, that's only 3 left, so technically he lives, but then you can hit a second time with 1 yeah. and yeah. make some change for a dead guy, basically. It goes through it, yeah, so that's. That's that group, and then there's three left, so let's keep this... Actually, what's that actually... Lofty, you gave, like, how many boost die? Like, two? I gave, I gave two. Oh, then I'll, let me roll that, just so I can probably give more boost die to the next person. <laughs> okay. So, so that's four advantage left, so four to the next person. <laughs> to keep this boost train going. Choo-choo! Okay. He sprints up the stairs, uh, stops. <laughs> blah, blah, blah! Blah! Alright, that's okay. the second PC slot, right? Yeah. So it was clone. Okay. It was cloneman, cloneman, and now Jedman, Jedman. Yeah. Marty, you want to go so you can take advantage of sweet, sweet boost this time? Sure. He's I'll also take closer. advantage of that. Yeah, I'm also closer. Thank. So. Okay, so I'm short from. Yep. The only alive group in that sector. <laughs> so I'm yep. going to uh, movement engaged. Okay. And then you're going to kill all of them. Possibly. Kill all of them, Peter. Kill okay. them all. And there's no defense from them. Oh, wait, let's see here. This is the group that has this in cover and has one range defense. Yes, they don't have any melee stuff. Yeah, so the, the cover doesn't cover count for nope. melee. Cover only gives you plus one range. Okay. okay. Yay! So, you, 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 I think you the, only f- the, only, the only thing you can do by default to increase your melee defense is to take a guarded stance. Yes. Yeah. Because um, dropping prone and taking cover only improves your uh, range defense. Well, technically, I don't think dropping prone improves your defense. It just adds boosts and setbacks to certain checks. Ah. Huh. Ah. So okay, well, actually. For each one. Uh, yeah, you can't double crit, I don't think. So, you could take out two, though. can't double crit. Yeah. Because you'll do seven. One. Okay. Do these guys have the ability that increases their... Oh yeah, they do actually. Yeah. Oh shit! Then I think I did my calculations wrong last time. Uh, yeah, was... yeah, but that just means you heal one less strain. Okay. okay. So that takes kind of all the advantage. All right, and then you do seven. Oh, I'm at four twenty. Blaze it! Ooh, ooh. So Sorry. pick out two of them. All, uh... yeah. Wait, how much strain do I have? Zero. Mm-hmm. I'll take two two guarded stance. All right. So you you know, sweet. Dashing saber slashes your two of them through the console like a boss. Blark, they are dead, and then you, you know, fighting game guard. Arama, you must go. I must go. Um, I will punch. Well, yeah, you gotta move, though. I will move, though. I think I gotta do a double move, I think. Do I have to do a double move? Yeah, because you haven't gone upstairs yet. Oh, okay, very well, then. So, I'll take a double... Uh, can I get into a gate from a double move? Well, yeah, you move, then engage, basically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because yeah, they're within, once you get to the top of the left. stairs, they're within short range. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, one guy left. It's a little flexible fluid. fluid. Little, it's a little wiggle wobbly, timey wimey. I'm going to punch him! Yeah. I think he dies if you hit him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, so uh, do... hmm? close, you're in close formation, so don't forget that extra boost day. Uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot it last time, but not this time. So, yeah, yeah. But then, uh, puh, puh, and then, puh, 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 and then, uh, puh. You're doing the thing where all the all the clones also simultaneously punch, like a Captain Planet of punching. <laughs> <laughs> fist, 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 fist. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Well, they do punch the air, so that's a very interesting check you've rolled. This is a very interesting check. I've <laughs> that, ooh, mm, that's mm. just that's unfortunate. Well, it's not necessarily unfortunate. No, where you could just put it all to advantage and just be like, "Fuck it." I I could. Um, uh, Mark, did you use all that advantage? 
Yeah, you crit. Okay. Yeah. So, honestly, I'm okay. Well, actually, no, yeah, I'm going to fucking whiff, and I'm going to put all that into advantage, and because that will give me five advantage, I'll use four of it to heal strain. So I'm at zero out of 20. Thank God I was able to, actually, thank God for that rule. I have one uh, advantage left over. I'll pass the boost to whoever goes next, and I'll just whiff, but because I whiff, mm, I get to flip a point. Yeah. Oh, you're it's, right, yes. So you, you go in for the big hook swing, and the like one guy who's left just ducks behind his console. <laughs> you're not using your lightsaber, so you don't accidentally destroy something. <laughs> oh, no, he's a punching. master of the drugged fist. Uh, yeah, so it's his go. Um, let's see. Arama's not in guarded stance, and she tried to I punch am. him, so he will yeah. try to punch you with his whole three brawn dice. Um, what is my damage? Area? What's your defense? My defense is one. Um, uh, well, actually, yeah, my strength's fucking empty right now. I'll spend one to upgrade. Okay, he will roll a red uh, and a purple. And a setback. Uh, yeah, sure, fuck it. He'll aim. He'll aim his fist. Well, Give me that despair. No, but failure. Uh, it turns into another one of those ine- ineffectual slap fights. Wait. I can only mean one thing. Because if you'll recall, the cultists have the melee attack frenzy, so he's just uh, yes. trying to hit you with every single part of his body, and it's not going well. Thank you, like I needed to find this gif again. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, top of the round. Our Ama can now last first and use her own boost die to just punch this guy in the face. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You yeah, cannot you stop do me. it. Have fun. Um. So yeah. And then I'll aim. It's like I'll show you aiming, and I'll aim for another one. So here we go. That'll do it. Um. I'll drop my two light points into success. That'll make it nine damage. Pierce three. Yeah, I think he's got two. He got two, three wounds left. Yeah, he had like two or ah. three wounds left. So yeah, I know. I'll spend one to heal the fuck the hecking one I had. So yay! To continue my uh, bounty hunter meme is if you sneak up behind the, behind a guy and hit the punch button, you do the old fashioned karate chop to the back of the neck. So mm-hmm. I think that's what you just do. You just go pop, blah, he falls over. All right, you have cleared this floor. Oh, there's more floors. Shit, there's one more floor. Oh, yeah, okay. you still haven't found the thing shooting lightning. Very true. Yeah. very true. And you go up. And we'll have some like fun checking stuff. Then... Okay, go go with one unit, I guess. Well, whoever goes next, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I just went, so there's three PC slots, so... Yeah, yep. I'll go next, because I'm the tank, quote-unquote. Uh, I can take a few hits. So, right. double move to get to the door, kick it open, and hide behind uh, cover. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, the fact that the makeup was silent there made me extremely nope. worried. Just read my stuff. Okay. So, okay. floor the fourth uh, actually looks like it's got the thing. Um, okay. so you're in kind of a, a dome because it's captured the dome, and you see there's a big central colony thing that's rotating and uh, pulsing with a blue green light. There's a little bit that sticks out into the storm, and just occasionally you hear as it shoots arcs of lightning, and uh, and there's like six more guys standing around it, you okay. know, throwing levers and shit. Why you gotta turn so hell of weather up to eleven? Why? That's me. Okay. I did. I okay. did my thing. And he oh, has I need a target. double move to get back up to like get to lost position. Yeah, uh, no, it's just All right. short. All right, then. This is a move. Um, Lop took a move to get into cover, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I might take the maneuver to get into cover, and then I'll go into cover. So it makes it oh, upgrade. Okay. Fine. And I'm going to because they haven't moved, so I'm gonna shoot in the meaning groups. Yeah. They have not they technically added. Acted. Blah. I speaks good. Okay. I speak super wells. Makes sure I get two more because I. It's a lot of boost. Jesus. That is only. That's 12 for each. 12 pierce two. Uh, yeah, well, that's still probably gonna. Because you can double hit, still take out three yeah. at once. And then, yeah. I guess, that's give fun. Marf the boost train. Yeah, hold on. Let me just, let me just double check my math because it's pierce two, so right. that's three soak, so. What did you say it was? Just 11 or something? 12? 12. Just 12. So, remove 2, 10, blah, that's a guy. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened last time. It's One hit is worth a guy and some change, so if you... It's worth 1.5 minions, so if you hit twice, you make 3 minions. Good job, you. Good job. And now, uh, 
I guess Kavis gets eight boost dice. Solid. Right. Right, I'm, We're destroyed. Uh, I'm from. I'm me him from the. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, basically, okay. So I'll have to double move to get engaged. So I'll double move to get engaged with the only other group that's alive. I'm just counting how many bees I have to write out because this 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 is it is eight, too, yes. this is too many. <laughs> it is too many. It's like. All oh, right, I need to make sure I'm kind of taking too strain for this. Probably get it back. Well, yeah. Okay, so and no defense, just two. Uh, that is yeah, no. twelve damage breach. One. Well, it's definitely two of them. And I guess you crit. Then I'll so just... crit. Yeah, you got. You then, I'll the three, so. the spend the, then I'll spend the two room. Maybe because of five to yep. heal strain. Okay. Zorb, zorb. All right. Good job, everybody. The day is won. Yay. I think that was suitably gauntlet like. Yeah. You guys yeah. uh, really shenanigans. Your boost dice in the end there, but it's okay. I actually did some damage and stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay. That only took an hour. Congratulations. Heal you are on the top heal floor. Strain. Yay. Heal strain. I'll investigate. <laughs> yeah, you can roll the heal strain. Okay, that's all my strain now. Well, I need to reload another stem back into my pecking thing. How many stem backs are in that box of stem packs Boots carries? He doesn't carry bo- boxes of stem backs. Well, doesn't he carry a lot? It's a pouch, a belt, yeah, a bag. Carries, like, how many do you carry? Loth is probably still in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, All right, well, I, um, we have that thing. We need to take it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we should, let's, oh, we, the, we, let's investigate the pulsing, wowing... Column thing. All right, cool. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, um, well, it looks you guys have seen enough stuff from the gardeners to think this looks kind of like uh gardener tech, though there is some other bits clutched on. Maybe it wasn't originally weaponized. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, so remember, I know, I know, like he explicitly said, RMA wants to steal it. Um, it looks pretty integrated into the infrastructure of the tower, so. Mm-hmm. It's probably going to need to be a, b- a pretty big build job to do that. This place uh, feels like it's really more usable than I guess it actually turned out to be. I still don't like it. Well, honestly, um, if there's no one here manning it, if we just turn it off, it would be fucking fine, and we can yeah. hide it later. So, figure uh, out what to do with it later. People, start throwing levers. See, like, figure out how to turn this thing off. All right, it's somebody off, make me here, a I daunting think. mechanics or lore check. I'll do mechanics, so I do lore. Uh, I'll do lore. I can, I can do nope, lore. Nope, don't. I'll roll. That's cheating. Okay. Okay. You can't all f- if all four of you succeed. What are you going to do? You can't all four all, all okay, four I'll hit the it. off button. Actually, who is, actually what's the term at all of our bo- uh, dice bowls for this? Well, I have, I have I three get... yellow. All right, didn't you do it? Because you're better than me. Mm, well, take a boost for me. I can assist. I actually this is for me because I'm right. This is for lore, so yes. boost thing. Take my boost. You have lore. Wait, no, never mind. You you I want to. Do I want to upgrade my thing? Yeah, it's only four yellow, four purples. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, you, 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 the, the, that's one, the, so, uh, okay. How hmm. dare? Huh. Huh. Hmm. How huh. dare? Damn. Huh. Huh. You do not advantage. figure okay. out the off button. Uh, you're pretty sure the way this works is this appears to have something to do with atmospheric electricity. Um, here's your fun thing. You realize it's powered by ambient energy, so theoretically it operates forever. Nice. Mm. Um, because it just sucks up energy. Like, you could probably do the dumb thing of, like, let's just throw mechanical things at it until it runs out of stored power. But in general, it doesn't have, like, an off switch because it gathers ambient electricity. Um, okay. you're not sure what it's supposed to do? Is it like a power, is it like a literal lightning rod? Like, it's supposed to just draw in power? Is it supposed to control weather patterns? Is it supposed to make firework noises even though it's the fifth? Sorry. There's people yeah. blowing stuff up outside. I'm annoyed. Okay. Shouldn't do it anymore. Um, but you can't, looking at, like, the combination of, like, uh, clutched together control panels and levers that have no labels and weird alien glyphs, you don't figure out which one is off. May I suggest you use the Triumph to upgrade maybe Axe's attempt at it? Or get mechanics, yeah. 
Okay, I'll do the trying thing and in the event. Oh yeah, just trying to upgrade whoever goes or whatever. Well yeah, you can pick Axe specifically because Axe. He's gonna try and mechanical it. Yeah, so I'll three yellows better. Actually, let me check something. I don't know if it apply- Actually, no, it only applies to Skull Duck, right? It doesn't apply to mechanics. I can't. What? I can't. I was just. Wait, because I, I was thinking that I couldn't. I can't actually decrease the difficulty of it. Mm. So, so quickly, um, I did step away, so you guys. Yes, they're all dead. One, and now. Okay. Yes. And now you you left for five seconds, they're all dead. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not sure why that was in question. Hammer shot them and then Mark cleaved them all in half. <laughs> yeah. You never know what you can miss in five seconds. Hmm. Uh, does anyone want to like help me on this, or does that not count? I, um, I, I don't have mechanics. I can, I have mechanics, so I can give you one boost. I can give you a yawn. Stop giving those out. Can't help it. Oh, cool. There you go. Yeah. That boost actually helped a lot. That. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Cavus was kind of because he was rolling lore was kind of looking at it from like, okay, ancient technology buttons. Fuck, I got nothing. Camo is like. Okay, power supply, blah blah blah. Oh, it's this switch. The the thing stops spinning. You know, the 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 ominous hum just dies down to the normal hum you get with a fluorescent light bulb, and uh, the the energy levels go from freaky lightning to like you know, sweet hue light bulb lighting. Good job, you've done it. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. We did it. Now oh, let's. <laughs> Let's check out the other things because I think there are some cool, like, interesting things on the other side. He, he's no time. Got, 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 got a punch. Okay. Yeah. Should he like jump and go? Time to go back down. I'm just right, so, Let's get back. Um. So we're gonna make our way down. Armot will, you know, put her hand to her helmet and be all like, "Um, fly boy, fly boy one, fly boy one. The air is clear. Make your approach." Roger that. You hear various noises. I was at a park called something called Flyboy. <laughs> you hear that, boys? You're finally going to see some action. <laughs> and we start dumping clones on the front lawn. Yes. <laughs> Just literally tipping over, like, putting, p- tilting the ship sideways as, like, shaking it. Now the other half of our forces. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, are you doing any kind of poking of the tower at all? Uh. I, I kinda wanna do I kinda wanna poke. I do wanna poke. I wanna see it. I am just curious to see what it is, so Okay, I, we poke. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, so we're we're you, into, like, rolling a couple of checks, you've poked the top floor the most. Other than that you find out that this piece of technology is called the Storm Spear. It's all cool one name. word and capitalized. That's a cool <laughs> name. It is a cool name. The Storm Spear. Oh, I thought spear. you meant the entire thing was capitalized. No. Though you can choose to write it in all caps if you want. Storm Spear! <laughs> well, uh, our mod will totally it. make it all caps on a report and should put little lightning bolts around it. <laughs> I'll just it put it. an exclamation mark next to it. <laughs> no, no. Each different you report do, has you, a different you make like, the lightning way to bolt emphasize. the exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> Master Lago is just going to be like. <sighs> Master Lago is just like. Hmm. I see. Um, the lightning bolt gives emphasis to the f- exclamation point. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So profound. Your at your base level understanding of this thing. Also, hold on. I might sneeze in the middle of this. Um, you get the impression this wasn't always here, but it was repurposed to be here. So it was probably like discovered somewhere and relocated, and the tower was probably built around it. So if you want to get it out, you're gonna have to tear down this tower. Or hmm. study it in situ. Who knows? Hmm. Um, so that's the, the top floor. I'll talk to the archaeology department and see what they want to do with it. Okay. So the third I'm floor is the to... observatory. You saw most of the things there. Um, the, there's uh, sensors and all kinds of stuff here. And the long comms. Yeah, it's got a high power Can comms. Can you see if the comms have been used recently? Uh, recently? Doesn't look like. Mm. Okay. Looks like they uh they probably pulled the antenna down to activate the storm spear and it hasn't been spooled back up for a while. Uh, do they have? Is there a call log? A call record? Call uh, ID? Uh, there's probably a standard issue comms buffer, mm. um, but they don't. They they don't appear big on logbooks. Mm. Uh, you notice they've got like they've got like traffic control and weather tracking sensors, but they don't appear to have a lot of time or computer memory dedicated to 
rec- you know, recording all that information, just it's got some current stuff. So, you know, you get to see your local Doppler radar. You can probably see your uh, your your ships coming down and landing in the courtyard, because obviously it's very stormy here, and they land their own ships here, so they've got some stuff for that. Some long some long range meteorology, you know, high level upper atmosphere astrogation sensors, stuff like that. No plot tokens here. All right. Nope. Okay. Next four. The library. Yeah, I'm actually curious about this one. All right. Well, you uh, you just pull some shit off the shelves. Um. So you see a lot of historical information here, um, a lot of archaeological studies of the planet Bogdan and its moon Colma, which you should all be familiar with, you know, as part of the whole Bandagora aesthetic. Um, you yeah. find a lot of historical records uh, from academic sources about the history of the Bandagora cult. Oh, interesting. So, <laughs> including some uh, some news sources of their rise. Uh, Oh, probably about a decade ago. You would say probably around the 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 uh, the Trade Federation incident around Naboo. Probably about when that stuff happened, um, where they were they were in a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of sudden growth and expansion that was curtailed um, after a mysterious individual placed a bounty on the head of the Bandogora that was apparently collected. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty big. <laughs> okay. Um. So, like, that's the recent history, and then you get the longer, you know, uh, historical analyses of guys who you usually see in footnotes were found horribly cult murdered, like, you know, two years after they wrote this. Um, you know, the usual Call of Cthulhu esque stuff where, you know, you write about something and then you go crazy and or get stabbed or eaten in, like, the next couple of years. Uh, but that just generally reports on the history of, like, so they started as just, like, because there was such a big battle in the Bogdan system that, and surrounding sectors that they literally turned one of their moons into a cemetery and necropolis pl- planet. And so the Bandogora rose up from the grave keepers and organizers and grave robbers and then turned into basically a death cult of like, hey, you know what gives us everything we need? Dead people. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong in this case. <laughs> so that's kind of their history. Seems a little self-aggrandizing, but whatever. Um, you also find as established uh, boatloads of scientific journals on many, many subjects, such as toxicology, pharmacology, botany, and more. Drugs. Um, and there are, like I mentioned, there are actually some restoration tables. You do actually see some some old, like, record scrolls and, like, grimoire tomes being restored. Painstakingly restored. Yeah. You know, oh. s- scanning and translating their text into data format, reassembling uh, fragments of code. Honestly, the archaeology department wouldn't, would probably wouldn't mind this stuff. Give them something to do. History. Mm-hmm. And if it's bad wrong history, uh, back at the Jedi Temple, you have a box for that. Because you <laughs> don't do. destroy stuff, you just put it in boxes. Yeah. And then maybe we have, we have a box full of evil, evil triangles. Yeah. Oh, you found an evil triangle? It's very That's good. It. We will store this somewhere safe. Whoop! Into Throw the box. In the trash can. And it, because it's not KOTOR, there's a Jedi using it to like secretly learn about this if and go insane. <laughs> no, not really. Though I do think one of the new canon novels established that uh, one of like uh, Dooku's buddies was like thrown out or uh, something because they accessed the bad wrong vault to learn stuff. <laughs> the bad wrong. Yeah, I, yeah, it is. It is something dumb like that, but I don't remember. It's, Badong. I th- I think the the quote unquote like old term for uh, the dark <laughs> side is like is like I think you've actually made this joke before a lot. It's like bogan. Oh jeez. The Bogans. Yeah, no, that's like the ancient word for dark side, and I think the <laughs> the light side is Ashla. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the no. Ashla the Bogan. It's like bad gone. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um. So that's the second floor, and then there's the lab, which you saw most of it already, and luckily you didn't break too much shit. Um, it's fucking white trash. That's what the Sith are. That's just white trash. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, so you get, this looks a lot like facilities you guys have seen. Um, there's a little bit more industri- industrial quality to this. You see lots of big oh. mixing and fusing and distilling equipment. You know, there's a big still in a corner. Um, there's mixers, all that kind of stuff. Um, you see there's a lots of drums and vats for storage. Um, though obviously this is not production, this is all experimentation. Mm. Um, there's lots of workbenches scattered with tools and various other tech. Um, and you, yeah, there's just storage shelves racked with growing and dried plants, mushrooms. Like I said, there's literally terrariums full of venomous creatures. Some are native, some are not. You know, you pass by a, <laughs> a you pass by a corner, and there's a tiny, there's like 
a pygmy scorpiconda that just kind of <gasps> just pygmy points him. <laughs> look at Marvel is all like you want that as your companion I don't know if you want like a, a <laughs> spider or a snake or something there's there's full of them you want a space platypus? If you can find me a stat line for a space platypus, there's probably a space platypus in here. <laughs> we look off to the side and we see like the Dianoga cage and it's just ripped open. It's like, oh, that's where it went. <laughs> yeah, and so you know, you see some, uh, probably some Cahoon, which are like those weird centipede things from episode 2. Creepy shit. All kinds of stuff. Well, as I said, um, not going to dwell too much. Uh, most probably need to uh, report some of this to uh, animal services. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're pretty sure some of this is a customs violation. These animals were imported illegal, illegally. They could be invasive species. Customs violation. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they could, get, they could get off this rock, like this, like volcanic rock. But probably. I mean, it's true. You don't know, but that's the problem with some of these species. Yeah. That's fair. Like I said we can send them home or something. Anyway, I'm sure office. the vast Republican bureaucracy has an office for this or a department. Yeah. Or something. There is probably they a, a committee. It's probably, it's literally probably called customs and like probably cu- probably customs. Yeah, there it probably just, is a Republic customs enforcement, which is just like mm, no, these got to go somewhere. Yeah, they they import a fuckload of giz cuts over on the environment. <laughs> All right. So anyway, our, our mom's overall take is that is I need to get the science team in here. Science team. Yes, yeah, science team. Yeah, you need to get the scientist guys. They love it. Yeah, they love it. We can yeah. pack it up in box, take it back to base. They can use, they can, like, study books. I like to change the sanitary. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not going to have them come out here to study. We're going to get them to come pack up everything. <laughs> no, you don't want to take them to the semi-cursed ghost town island <laughs> that they built, somebody built a creepy <laughs> fortress I on. Mean, I mean, if they want to investigate the storm sphere. But... Well, they don't, they well, all look confused. I, except I expect what Arama is going to do is she's going to get a bunch of clones with, uh, with, with, uh, hammer and chisel and just break it down and take it home. <laughs> There's going to be, like, one scientist who'll be like, oh, yeah, I, it's just like my Far Eastern Galaxy books I've read. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, anyway, you've cleared the there. observatory tower. Good job. Yeah. I assume yeah, you yeah. want to now check out the barracks and storehouses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's smoke them out. Okay. Um, so basically, this is a big stone brick building. It's it's of a similar size to the main hall, but it's not of open construction. Like, the main hall is actually a, you know, giant vaulted ceiling, you know? two or three stories worth of open space straight up. This appears to be a couple of layers. Um, it's filled of storerooms and bunkhouses and stuff. And if you want to sweep it, you're going to need to take about ten minutes to uh, go do another mass comedy type thing and basically push in and fucking sweep the place because I'm not going to make you do room by room fighting. Uh, that's fine, this mass, combat yeah, that's fine. mass combat. Do this. So the enemy force is that's significant. Cool. Um, they don't appear to have a leader for sure, so there's no upgrades, so it's just two purples, but do give them, do give yourself a setback die, uh, because they have home field advantage. Setback, so two perps and a setback. And uh, this would be versus your three. own, um, and you've got your full force, so I think you should be three, three green dice base, and then how upgraded however many for your leadership. Yep, and then some force dice on top of that, because I, let me double check my leadership shit, I don't think I do. I didn't take general, but yep, yeah, they're about like yeah, it's about a platoon of like storm troopers, yeah. No, no, mm. company strength, three success. We'll just go with that. All right, solid. Okay, okay. this takes you about a ten minute mop up operation. They're not really organized. Um, you're not sure you're not sure who's in charge here, but clearly they're not in this building. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just you have mobs of you know dozens of cultists in a confined space, mm-hmm. um, and you just gotta like push them out room by room fighting. Probably some grenades in some room, some close quarter stuff. Boots gets to bust out his shotgun. And yeah, so you sweep the barracks slash storehouse. So, um, yes, there are literally storerooms in here. Um, you see, you know, rooms full of uh, stored and dried foods, fresh water, fuel canisters, machine parts. Um, you also find other basic, uh, you know, just technical supplies like, you know, you find a room full of, like, cleaners and other industrial stuff. Um, you find rooms full of, like, bolts of spare fabric so they can repair and assemble new robes, you know, and whatever. Like, just standard-issue living stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, there is... One of these rooms is actually an armory. It's probably secured, but you've got door openers, so... It's not this. Um, <laughs> you see racks for, you know, needlers, clubs, knives, other weapons, but most of them you find probably deployed. 
uh, you do actually find a couple of crates with um, some out of date and probably under maintained blaster rifles and pistols. Ooh. Uh, it seems that they prefer the needles because of the drugs. Drugs. But they do have some conventional blaster weapons, uh, which they are not using. If any of you guys had accidentally run out of ammo anywhere in there, you probably could scavenge up some, some spare power packs, but you don't need to. Good job. Um, and then there's a lot of big open barrack rooms. Uh, these remind you of the, the servants' quarters you cleared at the plantation. You know, Spartan-style double-cot bunks. Um, almost no personal possessions. Like, you're pretty sure these guys don't even have, like, a square meter of personal items kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know? They got the robes. <laughs> There are, there are just generic storage chests full of robes and drugs and stuff. Uh, nobody has any personal possessions. Alright. Kind of depressing. Yeah, That's a cult for you. Yeah. Uh, the third thing you do find in addition to living in storage space is some workspace. These are pretty crude, because these don't seem like these are technical, but they do have functional space for what looks like rudimentary machine work, uh, medical care, and even the fine arts. If you guys need to, like, dig for supplies or look for anything, you can scavenge around. But otherwise, it's just, you know, a room with some stuff. Gotcha. Uh, We're good. All right, let's make it back to the main hall. Let's make sure everyone is hunky-dory. Well, so, uh, you know how there's that underground section? Oh, yeah. Uh, There is actually something beyond the storehouse. Um, Oh. Oh, right. In the the back, you find basically a set of squat-like doors... Uh, which lead into, you know that um, you're leading into a section that has been carved directly into the volcanic rock. So basically going subsurface. Though it's, mm. at least the first area you can see into is technically ground level. It's just into a rock, carved into a rock formation. Mm. Okay. What? Uh, you f- we you do on? find notations that these are the called the slave pens. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Um, since you guys have searched the barracks, why don't you guys make me an average perception check to search? Or see if you find anything average. useful. Average, okay. Perception. Because you never know, you might find the map. The map. The map. The fucking map. Uh, I'd like to probably get the map. Nope, I think we overloaded dice block. Wow, that's a lot of threat, me. I did okay. You gotta try it, and you say okay. Sorry, I wrote for us. It's more like I just... Oh, wait, there isn't any of it. And you got more success. Damn. You did the best. Learn to comparative. Okay. <laughs> I didn't notice the, this thing. I thought I was, like, rolled first. So. No, it tells you who rolls what. It highlights your roll. Okay, well, since he rolled the best, uh, we'll say that uh, X-Men has... Uh, Camo has uh, rolled and found the map. So I present to you map with labels. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, those are- is that a fucking hedge? Read out? Oh my god, there's a hedge mage. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> read down. <laughs> what oh no. Uh, there's oh a fucking god. bunch of like green lines. <laughs> How we it's a fucking hedge mage! I know, I know, I'm joking. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. you could just shoot You do the find the, uh, so Camo finds the map. Uh, let's see. Boots and Arama, you guys find spent stim packs. They're empty. How good for you? No! Maybe you find a couple of credits. I don't know. Uh, Kavis finds a single unused stim pack. Yay. Oh, by the way, um, Boots, how many stim packs do you have on you? Pretty sure it's still a decent amount. Let me double check here. Uh, I've got three. Okay. Now. Uh, picked up. Yep, gotcha. Getting a weird thing where sometimes I'm not sure if my mic is actually picking me up or not now. We're hearing oh, fine. Not not responding. Oh, All no, right. it's also just like sometimes while I'm talking, my thing doesn't light up on Discord. No. Ignore me for a moment. So, Ignore right, him. Let us make our way to the slave pits, because there might be slaves that we need to rescue. Yeah, we should, we should probably go liberate and have okay. them evacuated. I will tell you, there's a little bit of a choke point here you probably can't. Uh, ram your whole 150 guys ru- yeah. uh, through here. Well, then uh, I will take me and the usual, and we shall be a vanguard. And we'll take nice. a squad, I guess. Yay, yeah. you take a squad. Technically, you haven't dismissed that squad, so. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see, how long have we been going? How about an hour and a half? I'm going to take a quick uh, fiver and get up and walk around. 
Monkey will do the same. So yeah. I'd also uh, just notice that. Let's take an intermission, everybody, and we'll be right back. Alright. Started. Now we're live. Okay. And you guys are just gonna proceed to continue to do the jet gas. Into this into the slave pens. Into the slave yeah. pens. Okay. Let me tab back over to that tab. Oh, yes, I pause my thunderstorms down. I should start those again. That's right. They say for sleep, but when I turn them off, I got sleepy. <sighs> okay. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, just finding my place in my notes because we were paused for a few minutes there. Uh, yeah. So you guys can basically notice the slight change in the architecture and structure. Mm-hmm. Where you're like, okay, we're going into the into the rock now. And so uh, the immediate thing you see are kind of a... Uh, the first thing you run into is you run into a narrow corridor, which kind of starts this whole into the into the volcanic rock process. Uh, though, by the way, you are level. The floor stays okay. level. So there's no, like, gentle slope or anything. Um, but you pass basically... They're not quite holding cells, though they probably do kind of look like storage... Bins or crates are almost like a drunk tank, you know, like a, a, a basic fence room with a lock. Um, but they contain objects. Um, oh. You just see random piles of stuff so um, in a lot of these little locked rooms. Hmm. Okay. It's probably like, I don't know, excuse me, uh, probably like half a dozen of these little cell storage areas. These these objects can't be slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's, let's take a peek at some of these items. I'm a little curious. All right, you pop open one of the doors and you start rifling. Um, generally, you you kind of get what look like two categories of items. Um, one of them look like just basically normal everyday bric-a-brac pocket lint. You know, the like um, you find some like ID card, you find somebody's like you know oh, the equivalent of their car is- keys. This is personal effects from, from um, I'm guess they're slaves. It's just whatever they had on them at the time. I'm yeah, assuming. that seems to be it. Uh, the other you guys, the other piles of stuff you guys are familiar with from some of their other operations. It looks like grave goods, you know, uh, jewelry, small charms, incense, um, amulets, some clothing of just off deceased people. Uh, there is probably some, like, the equivalent of, like, pocket change in here. If you guys really wanted to scrounge up some credits, you could, but it's not really a big deal. It's just kind of haphazard. Yeah, uh, it it looks like the Bandogor are not big on organization. No. Well, I'm kind of glad that if they were, um, if they were, if they were, they'd probably be a much more effective of organization. Yeah, so... no, the weird death cult drug bit seems to really be, uh, keeping them on the straight and narrow, as it were. <laughs> Keep them in uh, small time ish. Anyway, advance, advance. All right, so, uh, uh, yeah, I think we've done. Mm, let's. Uh, now nah, you guys have encountered this before. I don't think we need to do another fear check. Um, you find basically the next set of chambers. You go through some doors, uh, which are more heavy and industrial. Um, actually, this is a good good question I was about to ask because I was going to talk about squeaky hinges. Are you guys trying to stealth your way, or is this just like? No, we are here. Hello. Um, we've been making a lot of noise already. I yeah. think it's like we're not like overly making noise, but we're just kind of like walking through. All right, so there's I'm... some big, heavy metal doors. They're not like super squeaky, but you're not necessarily holding yourself back, so you can like unlatch the door and slide open. Uh, you're basically in necropsy and embalming rooms. You see, you know, slabs. Ugh. Oh, this um, again. You know, you see coffins, whatever, piled up. Some are. are some bodies are kind of taken on tabers, various levels of decay. Some are being, some appear to be being preserved. Others appear to be being rendered down. You know, there's storage and stuff for more mummy dust. Yay! Uh, you know, um, in the far back there might be crematory ovens, but uh, in this main uh, block of place, uh, <laughs> you done do done dung dug on encounter a man. Oh no. Uh, he's a slightly burlier than normal Bandogor cultist, wearing, uh, mm-hmm. kind of the sort of lesser masks that the captains are, though his has a different horn configuration. He's kind of got, like, uh, he's wearing robes, but he's also wearing kind of a, a, a leathery, dark apron over it, and got some, mm. like, boots and gloves. Oh, and no, is he the fucking butcher? He's holding the bone saw, yeah. Ah! Ah! 
and he just kind of gestures at his, you know, well, let's say six is a good number, six. Another whole six cultists who are just kind of with him doing stuff. Or just kind of walk into the room. So uh, let's roll it again. again. I kind of want to scream a little bit. All my yeah. fucking um, experiences oh. with war, with war for, um, the war. Wow! Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> Great roll, buddy. Is this discipline? Yeah. Oh, cool. It would yeah. never be discipline. It's never discipline. It's, okay. it's either cool or vigilance. Then this is all right. Cool. Yeah. This is a solid roll, me. Because it's pretty good. Because we're it's not as good as that one guy, but okay. I'm gonna take the two strain. I feel like I need some huh. eerie clane chinking chinkling in the background background music for this. Hang on, let me see if I can find that. Find some weird clanking. I'm wondering if I can find some background like oh uh, let's see. Background throat singing? Uh hang on. I'm back. Lucky's gonna look. Whoa. Oh yeah, rapid reaction, that's the thing. Yeah, I bet it's, it's like the three yellow scared me. <laughs> oh, It's a big one. Hmm. Is that everybody mm-hmm. rolled? I think so. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I rolled. Lucky rolled. Uh, off and X. So that's current. So it's like PC, NPC, PC, 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 NPC, NPC? Yes. Yeah. So it's... Yep, that's going to be fun. Would you say yeah, it's particularly grippy in here? What? <laughs> no, I'm just looking at Iambit Sound. A lot of them have just water drip sounds in them. I'm just like, hmm. It is raining, but you're in solid rock, so I don't know. I try to look for chanting. It's all like Tibetan monk meditation chanting. I'm like, that's not right. That's definitely not right. That's not I the right ambience at all. I know this one that has good chanting to it, but it kind of wraps up really quickly. That's there's, why you need to find those four hour blocks. There's probably one of those like fire temple chant things. But that Get the chanting fun. from the Dark Knight Rises. So, we've got a PC slot first. Oh. Dark Dungeon Atmosphere. Let's see here. I, I mean, curious. I guess I'll go first, and I will um, pop I'm buff if, if this works. Oh Jesus Christ! You will pop buffs. Okay. Okay. Um, Hooray! Pop buffs. Let's see here. So we don't need leadership checks for this, really. Um, as Arma is going to yell, subdue them, and point like uh, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Subduction. I was telling me, but I was wondering if, like, I could have shot the guy, but it's probably best if I don't. You not one shot the boss. Yeah, it's like yeah. I just I like, probably should. Like, Otherwise, like, it'll just be man and throw another <laughs> boss. I was mad. The deck reflected that. No boss or anybody. Okay. Yep. Mm, yeah. No. Okay. That's your action. You have a maneuver. Oh, uh, guarded stance. I guess. I don't know. Okay. You take a guarded stance. Cool. Cool beans. Okay. PC yeah. slot. Well, since the mortician senses that he's about to be murdered, he will go. <laughs> mortician. Yes. Yeah. He's, Creepy mortician. He's doing body stuff. That's what he's called. Yeah, I just remind, okay. reminds, me, reminds me of the other, like, the mortician robot from last time. Uh, he will move to engage camo. For no reason in particular. <laughs> <laughs> he just senses okay. that you want to murderize him. I'm just going to the media group, but okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, he just needs to blow his load right now and just get in there, because otherwise he's going to be dead. Uh, <laughs> so we will activate, uh, well, he's going to attack you. Oh, okay, you're actually bone okay. saw. So let me calculate oh, that part. Got good. Do that might work first. I don't know if I was actually. There's those. Uh, he is going to activate crippling blow, which increases his difficulty oh, by that, one. That's a fun one. Okay, this is gonna be. This is gonna get crazy. Oh, if it hits you, that's the problem. Yeah, I got a defense. Right, right. that's you have the a one defense. That he has moved. You got anything else to this, buddy? No. Okay, it's all just that. Well, now I actually have to attack him. So. Uh, though I would like to point out, um, 
because you are, well, one, he's engaged with Camo, but all of you, I think, have now been placed at short range of him. He has intimidating presence. All enemies at short range add one threat to all skill checks. Is it a skill? You add a threat. I just need to remember what... T. Hmm. That's a hit. All right. So, you take... Uh... that so you take eight plus three is eleven pierce two okay that's eight ow he has a bone saw uh and you have been crippling blowed uh you now take one strain whenever you perform a maneuver as he gets you in some important tendon or muscle group or something with his okay. bone saw also, yes, by the way, he is holding a bone saw in one hand, and he has, um, he didn't do, like, a double attack or anything, but he's got some vibro scalpels in his other hand. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, dear. I'll just, I guess I'll just take it, it's, like, it's weird, but it's, like, vibro okay, scalpels. I'm just trying to, like, generally take this through of it. And uh, now there are three PC guy. slots. And then, yeah, so who wants to go next? Oh, uh, shoot. I'll shoot the mooks. Okay. I was. Yeah, I, 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 did. I guess I got a I, the guy now. I was gonna just deal with the mooks for as the Jedi fought the guy, but I guess I gotta do it now. Maybe yeah, maybe should have commented. I love like Axe's mental gymnastics. Oh, I guess I have to fight this guy now. I got you. This the only thing I, I can do. I was I was trying to figure out a way to be like, is he trying to like draw aggro intentionally or unintentionally? No, I was so. literally just being like, I was wondering if like I should have, but it probably yeah. shouldn't. Or just because of how like the oh. turtle was. So are these guys in short range from me? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't think. I think the the room's a little long, but I'm not imagining that they got too far away. Is there any reasonable place I can take cover behind first? Oh yeah, no. There's there's all kinds of tables and and racks in here, coffins, bodies. You know, take your pick. I'll t- I'll take cover behind a table and open fire. Okay. The the half embalmed corpse says hi. He doesn't really, <laughs> but he you know does have a hand up, just like waving, like black. Right. He's missing his thumb and his pinky, so he's just got three fingers. It's a great time. It's a great time down here. Uh, because mm. Camo is for the wait. Of, like, hold on. Is Camo technically above in front of the whole group? I guess. No, he moved, so he he dogpiled into you guys. Oh, okay. okay. So at I the guess... doorway. There we go. Sorry, I forgot <laughs> to add fucking that. dramatic too about that skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so take the strain probably. <laughs> Do I take a straight Omega from that one? Well, we resolve those later. So. Yeah. But what's their damage? 8 plus 3 plus 3, so 14. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, I can't remember on what I can spend the triumph on. Like it's Well, six, first of all, uh, you can crit? spend triumph on anything you can spend advantage on. You could also crit and just take out one of them because you hit them. Crit! So, yeah. So, you... What was it? 14? 14. Five, okay. Five, so, 5 soak leaves 9. It's 5 wounds, leaves 4. So, you take out 1. If you crit, you'll take out a second. Take that. And, uh, yeah, you only got 1, so, yeah, you take a strain. Uh, As yeah, just, okay. you're, you're firing at these guys across the room while there's this there's this crazy bone saw man behind or to your side or something, and you're just like, mm. Well, you know what? You know what's more threatening? The man with the bone saw or the needles I've already felt hit my body several times. Just for that, you're going to get a vibro scalpel in the back, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay. okay. Uh, there are now two PC slots, so it's Camo or Cavus. The cars. Okay. Uh, huh. Cavus and uh, Axco. Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't sure what I was going to do right now because it's like, I have just okay. like. I wanna... Okay, then I'll oh. go. <laughs> Actually, the question. How do I do a crippling blow? This you don't. Okay. It's for the rest it of the does. encounter. You take a str- oh. you take one strain whenever you perform a maneuver. Oh, okay. I was just curious if this way I get to be treated. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a talent, actually, Wait. by the way. Yeah, it's a talent. I, I okay. guess every oh. time I ask the group if I should do a thing, I just won't now. Oh, the gift didn't load. What gift are you trying to do, huh? <sighs> Sorry, I'm looking at my stats. Yeah, it's okay. It's just a skeleton oh. from a movie I watched. Okay, I'm gonna go then. Yep. Oh. Oh, there's. 
Okay, so one one moves left in oh, that group. On. Three moves left in that group, and then there's the big old burly guy. Big, big is debatable, especially with lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> that whole no soak he's gonna get really, you know. Oh, you're right. I'm going to go and deal with the mortician. Okay. Because he has that threat thing going on. Correct. He's the big scare. Yeah, so I'm going to move into engage. Yep. And I'll... Right. Right. Yeah, so that's one. Yeah, sure. right, so I'll, going start, to... I'll start the strain train and get two strain to aim. Okay. Choo choo! Alright, he has adversary one and one defense. Okay. And don't forget that threat. Maybe I should get part of the Republic. Should you get one now? Oh no, I was just thinking of a talent. Talents are fun. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. get your poo. Okay, you get your poo. Rosa, that's everything. Okay. Or hmm. success one triumph. So that's ten damage for each one. That's all ten damage. He's having wow. a great time. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, feel no pain yeah. doesn't work on crit rating uh, with triumphs. So yeah, I think I'll crit him then. All right, roll crit. I think it's just exclamation. Slow crit. down. Oh, hmm. okay. On his next turn, he can only go into the last one. All right, interesting. But yeah, it's a lot. That's a shame. Oh well, he got a good hit in with his with his bone saw. I got the bone saw crippling. That's why I said he's got to blow his load right away. <laughs> <laughs> he's done his one gimmick. Am I the easiest one to hit? I guess. Uh or no, it would be that or boots. But boots also gets bullied by needles a lot. Just because I was asking if I should, if I, I was asking the group if I should try. Metaphysically, yes, you generated the most threat. I was literally yeah. just asking the other group if I should, because if they said no, I wouldn't have done it. It was just... actually I'm pretty sure we've said on multiple occasions that you probably shouldn't try and body the boss right from the get go, so we can have a. Bit of a fun In fact, I believe out. Lucky I Lucky was, has I himself would... gotten annoyed at you several times for doing that. Yeah. It's, it, I, I guess I, the I, question I, is, Axe, what would have caused Lucky to change his behavior between now and then? I was more just asking, and then I was like, "Oh, okay, I gotta know a little. Just think about what I actually want to do." I was just like. Because it's like I just always check in my mind. So it's like... Okay. Anyway, so, um, it's got to be used now because everybody else. How coming. about you try to take out the? Do I technically take a string or I try to like draw my sword? Uh, okay. no, because you have quick draw. That's an incidental. Yeah, but I also, like, also I was like, like, just in strain. It's not gonna. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take more... a turn for you for you for that uh, build up and actually be a problem, especially yeah. with you who likes to generate a fuck ton of. Um, oh, I'm not shooting my gun for this. So. Yeah. So take a maneuver to disengage and shoot him. Or, but Kevin's uh, gate too. Oh, that's true. Or you can shoot other mooks. Yeah, or uh, you yeah, could just decide yeah, you yeah. don't want to be in melee with this guy. That's true. Yeah, let's yeah. just engage. And I guess I take a strain. I'll mark the strain down already. Yep. We take one. <clears throat> I would need boots to heal me up. Like, fuck. Uh, I, I, to put this into perspective for both Axe and the audience, he's a little concerned about the fact that all oh, he has to take one strain every time he does a maneuver. Meanwhile, in the first combat alone, Arama was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm going to dodge that one. Oh, I'll dodge that one too. That's one strain each time." Oh, I'm gonna, I, you know, considering parrying, which is three strain. Like, the Jedi are just like, I'm just imagining them just thinking to themselves, suck it up, baby. <laughs> we yeah. do this all the time. This is literally how we live. Yeah, this is just me being weird about it because it's like, I'm weirdly thrown off by this whole kind of event, so I've just, I've, I lost my flow of what I was actually doing, so I apologize. Just mm-hmm. back up, take a strain, shoot the move. Right. Yes. I also, so there's a full moot group who, if you choose to shoot them, will probably become a no moot group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I love the like, gimmick right here. I need yeah. to save it. Which one? Which one you got? <laughs> the one Loth. That's a good one. Uh, Loth has posted a funny skeleton image of. This is not my problem. I sleep now. <laughs> if oh you guys God. have not seen it, The Lost Skeleton of Cadaver is a really good movie. I'm going to see this. Is it like, this bad, is it like a funny movie? movie or what? It's it's people who love B movies who made a really bad B movie on purpose. Hmm, that's always fun. Like, okay. where's the skeleton? No one knows where it is. A guy walks five meters into a cave, and there it is under a sheet. <laughs> okay, I I yeah. 
So they are dead. Uh, yes, <laughs> very much so. Yeah. No, that's that's I... they're te- oh, they were controlled me. Uh oh. Uh, I mean, technically, that should be five advantage because you're still in short range of that guy. Even if you back uh, up, yeah. his threatening presence yeah. goes out to short range. But that's okay. You only have five. Won't want. Yeah, yeah so four. So I probably heal. Yeah, okay. That's if the, are the mooks at short range of okay. camo. Yes. Then that's fifteen each. So then that's five. That's four. Thing. They're basically dead. Yeah. Because what's your two. total there? Fifteen pierce two twice. Uh, yeah. No, that'll that'll once again do the whole uh, you know, a guy and some change. <laughs> and because okay. you can hit twice, that turns into three whole guys. Yeah. Math. I think this is the reason why I've started growing where it's like I don't like playing DPS characters anymore. Oh, wait, <laughs> they are dead. They are dead. Blah. This and is then, why we have two groups. Yes. <laughs> just, just hold it back, love. Just hold it in. I know I said it wrong, but it's more of like, all I do is make you guys annoyed that I do this. Actually, it's not so much the actions that you do, it's how about going doing the actions. Yeah. You do the thing, and it's like, man, maybe I shouldn't have done this as you continue doing the thing. Because I have another. I guess I'll, I can make a new character. No, you don't need to do that. Just play differently, maybe. I don't know. Well, this is not the time to get into this, so. Yes. Yeah. Who's next? Alright. Uh, I'll ask you after them. What I should do with that. Oh, no, it's themsels. Uh, yes. AKA uh, it's that one guy. So let's see. Uh, so Camo take a, have a boost die. Oh yeah. Uh, so Camo is shooting his friends, but Camo's also clearly been injured. His boss appears to be in a fight with a Jedi man. Uh, yeah, I guess the one the one Mook will probably engage and attempt to punch Cavus. This will go poorly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. I okay. He does, however, get to last first, so because hey. he has to. <laughs> He's not allowed to go in another slot, and the other other slot is dead. Uh, well, it's not a full last first because there is technically a PC slot, but still, he will engage for safety. Uh, did, uh, you have one defense, right, or two? Two. Okay. Because of the shield. Yeah, I think I got that right. Oh, okay. He will increase his melee defense by one until the end of his next round. Okay. <laughs> and that's the end, so it is now a PC slot. Okay. Guess Mark, you wanna... Go. Mark, you wanna hit the guy again? Sure. Make a boost die. Right. How many boost die? Just one. Okay. Actually, okay. never mind. Just do one more aim so you get another boost higher. For the threat, then the Barissa. Is that everything? Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Nice. Oh, that's going to be a dead guy. Okay. He's got a whole six wounds left. Oh, okay. I can't read Chris. I'll just pass it. Upgrade to uh, uh, well, there's one guy that's engaged with me. Yeah. Well, it would just be I'll whoever. I, be- I believe it's just well, actually, no, I think with upgrades to any character, including I'll yourself. I'll upgrade to Arama and then I'll pass the boost die. So just, just go. Yeah, you just uh, his, his vibro saw, his bone saw thing is very cool and all, but it's not a lightsaber, so you just. You know, drive a big hammer blow down on him, and he is now very dead. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess uh, Arma would go backhand a fucker. Yeah, yes. just punch that guy. Yeah. So how many is left in the minion group? One. One. One man. Oh, Jesus. I believe he's unarmed, but only one man's. Yes. I will not punch him. I will just slap him unconscious. All right. Fuck. Open. Uh, open hand. Smack. Yes. The smack. With. Yeah, with. Yes. With. With Beskar Crunch Crush Gaunt, that's gonna yeah, it's gonna ring his bell pretty <laughs> it's, it's, good. It's, yeah, it's gonna break a things. I'll make a maneuver to get engaged, and we don't need to spend strain, so let's just yeah, just whack. 
Big oh. whack. Holy shit, big whack. Uh, I'm trying to, well, let me let me double check my strain threshold real quick. No, I'm completely fucking fine. So yeah, one, you five, got two, two, like one, eight so through with like that's So I'll negate that one I'll negate well, that one threat and I'll just I put the rest in success. I fucking Alright, yeah, you just backhand him across the room. He flies over one table, over another table, and lands in a pile of empty coffins. <laughs> And then the lid just um, the lid just lights shut on him. Yes. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Okay. Roll to heal strain if you have any. Yeah, I don't think anybody's actually got any because that went by pretty fast. I have. <laughs> two I've been healing strain. the strain pretty good recently. I'm actually surprised. We're getting better at it. I have two strain, so I'll heal. Okay, you can try. Three. Maybe you should try to keep that guy. Nah, I probably should have put more mooks in here, but I wasn't. Wasn't trying to make this too grievely. Anyway, yeah, so the mortician is dead. He had a bone saw and some scalpels. And I'm pretty sure ready. none of you can use his bone saw. I doubt there's yeah, any stats. What does that have, like, cumbersome three or something? Four. Oh, Jesus. Oh, then no. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never heard of, I don't think there's anything in the book, in, like, the list that are cumbersome four. There's several. There's there are. There, is it like, some, like, like there's specific, also like, cumber. There's also there's also cumber some five the vibro saw. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not that bad. I, I actually reduced down its cumbersome, but it's based on a similar line. Damn a crit. Ooh, crit Aren't those things like industrial tools usually? I love this vibro scalpel though. Yeah, it's it a. Just amused me. It's, it's a like, plus zero weapon. Because <laughs> uh, he had brawn four. To yeah. use his cumbersome four weapon, but it's crit two. Can't... You can also throw it at short range. Yeah, this one vicious one. Who you like... don't want those, Mister Medic? He's probably got. Uh... <laughs> we we did we did buy that <laughs> electroshock baton. Two. He's got two scalpels on him. Oh no! Fuck it, fine. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> uh, I think they're probably they they might be e one a piece. Maybe hmm. I have to double check. Hold on. Do you think they'd be like like E like E zero and then like they just stack up to E one? Well, nope. it depends because um they are vibro. I don't know. I have to e zero weapons that can be thrown would probably be a bit much. Well, yeah, the the throwing knife in this game is E one, which is kind of kind of frustrating because you can't just carry unlimited knives, but it it also makes sense so you can't carry unlimited knives. Like I think all grenades are like E one as well. Yes. Oh, I guess it's like I, I just like, you, like you, you, you can. Sorry. This is why we need to yeah. get you the weapon holder thing, and we can just slot you a bunch of fucking scalpels into your armor. Yeah, yes, this is, this be... reminds me of the time when I realized, like, oh, wait, these things don't have weight? I'll just buy a, a thousand cigars, <laughs> which really fucked up my uh, Deadlands game, because <laughs> my character had a fuckload of cigars for no it reason. Had, like, you had, like, boxes of, like... Yeah, so the vibro, the vibro knife is also E1, so gotcha. they're E1. I think... Okay, I'll copy this down to my sheet. Any... Zero melee weapons. Uh, they... In case people aren't aware, uh, I will probably not pick up anything else. No, that's fair. You full? Okay. All right. And I don't know what I the bone. I don't know what the bone saw weight is off the top of my head, but like I said, it's cumbersome. Four. I don't think any of you guys can easily handle that. Ow. Oh, that thing a big thing. All right, cool. It is a room full of recently dead people and probably people that have been dead for a while. Correct. Plus a guy who's probably dropped in the coffin. Is that all the prim- is that all the things in the area? Yeah. Uh in the back, uh well, like I said, there's some there's some crematory furnaces basically. Um because they make ash and stuff for things. Um and then there's basically uh you, you see the thing you probably were expecting but don't want to see. Um which is that uh, it, uh bas- basically actually so the back wall is seems slightly curved um but there's no access through it um you instead see trapdoors in the bottom which appear to lead to ladders corpse disposal mm. no they don't look like trash chutes no oh. There's more to explore. Well, let's open up a trapdoor. Let's 
Let's, Let's see how deep get this, get this chaos goes. Nope. Probably got a ladder of like two or three meters down uh, into a relatively dark room that you hear. Uh, actually, yeah, we need uh, audience at home. You need to change your uh, change your ambience to uh, uh, the bubbling chemical factory. Oh God! Damn it. <laughs> oh no! Um, yeah, you guys can just hear. Boop, boop, boop. Put your cassette tape on side B for more ambience. You know, so there's that. Um, it's pretty dimly lit, but you can probably see a little bit of firelight and hear a little bit. Do we have? Hmm. So beneath the slave pens is more alchemy lab, possibly. Uh, well, uh, point of order, you haven't seen any fucking slave pens. No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Why do you think I've been going, hmm? <laughs> Shit. You're having more emotional reactions to this than I thought you would. <laughs> So, what kind of slaves do you keep? Oh, whatever. Sorry to talk to you. Make a please continue. Now I'm just gonna ask you who's going in the hall. Armand I'll go first. Hall. Nope. Armand's going first. There's, There's two trap doors. You both go first. Ah, uh -huh. I'll, go for I'll slide down to race you there. I was about to say uh, Armand holds sprint, so she slides down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Boost is the same, but his helmet keeps hitting the ladder like dunk, 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 dunk on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um. What you find here is a manufactory for chemicals. Uh, this is looks like kind of the facility you guys busted up under Musco Corporation, though um, it looks a little bit less industrial. Um, there's not people manning it, but you see like big wooden vats that have big long stir sticks in it. You know, like literally, they probably get some some cultist guys to like just you know walk around in circles with their stir sticks, going over and over again. You know, um. Piping, tubes, boilers, vats, all the works. Um, you see some lines which seem to pipe out to another chamber through that curved wall behind you. And, uh... Then you, uh, you see storage vats here where they seem to just collect stuff like their living death serum and other fun things. You know, they're doing their death stick mixing. So my first response is just to torch it, but I can check deeper in. Yeah. Alas, also, you guys didn't bring any flame projectors. <laughs> we can't kill it with fire. Space thermite would be nice, yeah. I'm sorry, it's just it's a, it's a meta thing. I have an aversion to flamethrowers. Thanks sorry, to I, one, I heard... One graphic I description heard... that fucking Omega did. I fucking heard space termites, I'm like, wait. Space termite, yeah. Yeah, no a, termites, not thermites. That's what he heard, but excellent. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's investigate. Okay. Um, it's pretty so simple. Much. You guys follow the tubes. Tubes. Um, and basically, you see, uh, you know, you you realize you're kind of backed up to a circular room, and you kind of uh, mosey out through. It's very dark in here. Um, you think based on what you can see, especially Arama, you're in. Um, so how many of you are familiar with the original concept of Panopticon? Panopticon? No. I, I, uh, the central tower that looks over everything? That yeah, one? so that was actually a concept for a prison, where all your yeah. cells are open in a circle. Um, mm -hmm. this is more ovoid shaped, but it appears to be kind of like that, like it's got actually, like a couple of rows, like there's actually a row stacked up above you, um, that mm. all ring around to face each other with a central open area. Um... And uh, you can see various cells um, set into this vaguely circular room. Some are just look like they're waiting cells. Um, others look like they have torture equipment. Others seem like maybe they're they're almost medical. So they're set up for like indoctrination. Some are like even more advanced, where you see almost like surgical tier tools in them, oh, shining your lights and stuff. Um, some of them are, uh, again, similar to some stuff you saw down in the bottom of the plantation. Some of them look like they're clearly for, like, humanoids, like you see a couple benches in there and some open space, some straw piled in there. Um, others, you, you know, are like, these are clearly, like, animal holding cells. Like, there's no benches, there's just a chain ring in the bottom, and it's, like, twice the size of the others, stuff like that. 
And on the far corner of the room, you can see some cells occupied by some peoples. Oh, no. There's a couple dozen people uh, locked up in various cells. Um, okay. However, I would like all of you to make me a... Let's go with the... Let's go with an easy perception check. Bye. Still fuck this up. Arthur. <laughs> Of course, yes. TP. May I heal a strain, Omega? I got an advantage. Yeah, sure. You can heal a strain. Oh, I've somehow deleted um the fucking space I had between my my strain and my max strain threshold, so it looked like I had a strain of 140. It's a lot of strain. <laughs> nope. All nope, of you one who out of succeed here. Big breathing. Uh, Triumph Man, you would estimate that this breathing is from a creature that is approximately silhouette three. Oh boy. I was just like, like, we got big, big creature around. I hope they Um, didn't actually succeed in that silly crate dragon plan. Hmm? No, dude, a crate dragon is like still four or five. I'm just gonna. Okay, good. What's a crate dragon? It big big uh, big fuck off spot Star Wars dragon. Uh. It's a space dragon. Space dragon. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, right so. that. So Armand is distracted with the prisoners at the moment. Um, Does Armand want to just thing. blunder into the room? Yes. Okay. Uh, audience at home, I can't do that because it's uh, it's definitely very super copyrighted. But right about now is when you should start playing some motherfucking Shadow of the Colossus music. Uh, no i sing too good uh also that's the wrong one that's like victory this is like you need like oh, the right. slow ones where a colossus appears um so uh there's a big kind of shadow in the center area which appears to be kind of a sandy pit you you know you start rushing forward to get to those slave pens and just uh what you thought might have been a pile of rocks or some stuff uh just kind of sits up and stands up sorry and just uh it's you know it's got some chains around its wrists and then it just keeps going and just snap snap um and a mighty rancor stands before you oh how dare it how roars dare. at you Does that shit yes it is an alchemical rancor God damn it. All of you should roll fear checks. Hold on, let me look at the fear table. Yeah, please. Because uh, this will be bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> very cool squad. <laughs> there are be more than this. this I didn't think we were going to rank but I guess we are. <laughs> yeah. I should, I should have expected to rank call after uh, Kray Dragon. A large and dangerous creature. Four. Uh, oh, yeah. you. This will be a, uh, this will be a fear it. four. Do I have anything to help you with that? I don't think you have that talent yet, no. Yeah. No, I do not think If you have anything that helps discipline checks, though, it does count. Uh, I shall double check. I don't think I do, but... So, full purple. The only talent I have is one for athletics and coordination. Let's go! Let's not! So, um, Arma is going to spend a destiny point. Oh, okay. Two threat, one six, one... One triumph. <laughs> triumph. <laughs> And then with that, I will roll you, 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 you. I still didn't make it. But that means I get to flip it back. Okay. So, failures. Since it's just failure effects, we bestow conflict equal to the difficulty of the check. Let's go with that. Arma takes for conflict. Oof. Ooh. I'm about to murder this thing. So, Marth technically failed. Yes. Also. So, I'm yeah. Why don't right. you take four? I failed, but I don't uh, have conflict, so... And take two strain. Oh, you fail. So, Boots, you take one strain, and uh, you oh, now yeah. add one black to all actions you take during the encounter. No! Camo is it's, mostly it's, fine. I got that <laughs> I, uh, I, I kind of spaced a little bit when you uh, were describing it again, so it's like, how unsettling is this on the scale? It's a it's not giant... it's not really unsettling. It's more like holy shit! It's a giant rancor. Okay, yeah. fair, fair. Yes, uh, I need to spend that triumph now. Uh, I need to look up all penalties, so that doesn't count for this. 
hard to start screaming on my game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, yeah, about. Spend time, I'll just spend the time to not make any additional fear checks for this encounter. Okay, it's good. So you okay, are yeah. feared, but you're set. So yeah, it's like that, but greener and glowier. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like yeah. Mm. Uh, damn. Okay, God. <laughs> And Actually, we're, like, wait, deep on. underground, so that doesn't help. Nope. Yeah. Well, I'm scared, but I got people to fucucking save. So, I'm gonna go punch this thing. Cease. Well, actually, I'm gonna go shoot it so it doesn't try to eat you. <laughs> stop doing stuff. Okay, so now on this show. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, I will uh, roll build, just because uh, 10 out of 10 did not see this coming. I, I don't either, but I can go with it, so, yes. I heard the... Right, so I heard the breathing, so I knew it was there, so I probably rolled cool. Oh, I'm taking a lot of guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, that's some weird rain boss monster that definitely was made with a Rancor assets and a Tor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell it from Tor. Yeah. Do I add a, do I have my setback wow. to this as well? Yeah. This is the encounter. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna take the rain. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, wait. Probably, I probably should have gotten healed before we moved on. <laughs> Think about that. Oh, yeah. No, you should have thought of that. Alas, you did not. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you shouldn't piss off the Rancor. Yes. Arma will take blame for that. No, oh fair. yeah, we didn't okay. keep going. Uh, oh, no. So what does he got here? Vigilance. Okay. So he's gonna roll. Right. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Me. Holy oh, shit! Okay. Roll pretty good. Huh. So I think that's well, obviously still one PC slot because can't wait to go all out. So PC. So PC so and PC. PC. Yeah. So PC, PC and PC. PC sandwich. So uh, lucky you want to go first to make sure to like. I guess. Hmm. You want me to go, go first? I wanted to, like, buff it and just hit it. I'll go first. Um, Verily, you go first. I should I go first? I don't have Xenology, so I actually don't know how much soak this fucking thing has. Probably a lot. It's still three, so it probably has some big brawn numbers. It's yes. a big boy. It's a big boy. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, so with that in mind, um, Arma, she has been the spookening. And what happens when you scare someone? Do you ever have a fight or flight font process? Arma will not um go into flight, so she will fucking fight it. So, a uh, question with um drawing as a maneuver, can I draw two objects with one maneuver? Yeah, cool. You can ready a couple. Um, times. she you will equip me, so. um um she will go sword and board, and with a wild yell, she is going to charge this fucking rancor. Okay. So let's see. That's one move maneuver to. Um, draw. Um, spin two strain for second move to move and engage, and she's gonna take her action. She's gonna she's gonna boop it in the knee. Okay. Uh, adversary one yep. and uh, one defense. One defense. Gonna bust bust its kneecaps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean that's what you do. Mm-hmm. Have none of y'all have none of y'all played Force Unleashed? No, I do. Oh. It's just been a while and I forgot. I haven't. Where there's about fifty rancors in the fully. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, um, I will be staying right now because I see there's an NPC immediately after this. Um, I will be popping, committing one two cents now, okay, for big dodge for big for big dodge energy, and I'll also be spending a destiny point because I want to want to lightsaber this this thing pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so destiny L, alrighty. So that'll give me y y g, but with a rapu and a s, I believe it's everything. <laughs> I don't have any other nice little lovely bonuses. I hit it! Alright. How much damage are you going to do? Oh, you don't get your force type bonus, right? Not no, for not for light Alright, yeah. Um, that's it. Six base. So, seven? Alright, seven with the whole breach one. So it will yeah. remove two of those. Yeah, because so the, uh... Five. Yeah, uh, the lightsaber was the right choice. Yeah. As you sink its lightsaber in its knee and it... <laughs> Rancor drool rains down on you. I will block it with my shield, I guess. Uh, now it's its turn. It does not like you. I bet. It will now attempt to punch you with rending claws. I will activate dodge, and I will also note that I have two defense, so it'll be three upgrades, two defense. Okay. Well, you're also you're also choosing to apply your uh your sense bonus. Yes. Because there's no reason not to. Okay. Mm-hmm. So da, 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 da. upgraded thrice means that it is river. To sir. Yeah, there's no reason not. Go ahead and aim, buddy. It knows who it wants to. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Why? I am offended. Holy shit. That's so much fucking yeah. dice. I was like, holy That's shit. Six brawn. Curse you, red dice. Why'd you end up blank along with the bl- <laughs> setback? Oh, Is that? I'm a little offended. Gonna, you are gonna want to parry because that will be... Okay, so here's the good thing. There's no pierce on this. However, with those six successes, that will be 21 damage before soak. I don't think I can act... Wait, hang on. What? No, the I, fuck? I, I actually don't think I, I even with... Wait, actually, let me let me do some math here. Let me do some fucking gorilla math real quick here. Because I have... I came into this fight fucking fresh. So I'm at zero wounds. I only have 11 wounds. Mm. Mm. I had 12. Mm. No, no, no. It's um, Mariluka gets a um, strain bonus, but get a wounds penalty. Oh, okay. And I only have two brawn. And you've never um, bought any toughened? No. Um, fun fact: I don't actually. I don't think Jedi Knight actually has any toughened in it. None. Mm, probably not. You probably trade that for your extra ranks of parry and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but let me let me see here. Parry, 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 parry. How many ranks of parry do I have? I have three ranks of parry. Okay. So That's... that'd be three, three. 10. How many points you said I do? It's 21. It w- no, yeah. Even negating full 10 points of damage, it would put me at 11 out of 11. That's well, nuts. actually, then you don't go out. You have to exceed your wound threshold. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. Like, holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, but I, I will definitely spend my three strain to parry. Uh, As you just see. poke your lightsaber through its palm. Mm-hmm. That's your parry. <laughs> and it still uh, just yeah. comes crashing into me. <sighs> Like, I, I kind of wish, like, if this was actually a thing, Arama would have literally gone screaming forward, and then you just, next scene, you just see her going, ah! flying back. Uh, well, yeah, wall. I'm going to activate knockdown, so, oh, yeah, with that oh, triumph. Okay. So you you end up prone. Yeah. She just, uh, Rancor just, um, squish. Yeah. Because you, <laughs> you, you did so interpose smash. your lightsaber, it doesn't literally squish you, but you are slammed to the ground and thinking about your choices in life. Yes. I... Okay, right, but don't yeah, feel bad if I'm literally gonna put everything I have into killing this now. Cause holy no, fuck! Okay, okay, don't worry. Like, don't like, don't super worry. Like as I said, like I no, he's a, he's a big boy, and I got to I got to take lucky from zero to full wound threshold in one go. We're okay, we're fine. It was like I made that right. Um, like, yeah. Well, there's no vicious. Like there's no piercing. There's no vicious or anything. It's not that it's scary. Just, it's just big. It's just big damage energy. Yeah, no, but it's just said, it's a big boy. It will slap you pretty hard. It will knock you out in a hit. But um, I will say, um, since this is a new encounter, my stem pack automatically injects. But since it's my second stem pack, it only heals four. So I'm actually seven out of 11. Solid. Mm-hmm. Boots will have to That's a good stool. Yeah. But that is... <laughs> there is now a PC Slotus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go, Lucky. Uh, that was he's intense. Prone, does that affect me shooting the Rancor? I think yes. You are, Arama still chose to engage. Okay. Uh, I guess that's better even how big the Oh, here you go. Yeah. Uh, though I will point out, if you are trying to do a ranged attack, you actually decrease the difficulty by one, because it is still three, you are still one. That rule actually oh, okay. gets to apply. It's very oh. large. Could I honestly oh, make I it a step attack? That. If I don't. Actually, I wouldn't. I would just make it a step attack. Yeah. Oh. Wait, didn't she have had a penalty to hit me? Oh, yeah. I probably should have upped the difficulty once. I don't think that would have mattered too much, though. Well, not too much, but yeah, just in the future. Okay. For future, yes. I probably that's got. Like... I probably lost track, because um, your upgrades should have been a third yeah, red yeah, yeah. die. It's like you can't just add it now. So I'm well, gonna... yeah, all it would have done is negate the threat, really. So I'm not me. I feel like this is like where it's like negate threat, but it might have. I, I also think if I move threshold, if I if this thing hits me once, I'm probably going down too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tony, welcome to the floor. It's cold and comfy. <laughs> it's cold and wet. And actually, I will say you are lying in a pile of volcanic sand. It's actually not the worstest thing you've ever been punched <laughs> into. Fair. It's all like. <laughs> You're, pr- you're pretty sure Arma. you're gonna have to take off your helmet and shake it out, but at least it's not cold hard stone. Then you yeah, probably would be dead. At least we got the medics with us to like put us back together. <laughs> there's like an Arama shaped impression into the sand now. Just <laughs> yeah, I like how Arama just bum rushes forward and then they're just. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going to okay, so I'm gonna shoot it and then maybe uh, make more distance with it because I feel like that might be a safe bet. <laughs> okay, how are you gonna get more distance? I can't increase the rage brand for me, right? I mean, you can, but what are you going to do? You're going to run back into the hallway? I'm considering it. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, I'm run away. I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, run away, run away. <laughs> run away! Sir Robin was running away. Sir Robin was running away. Uh, let's still try. Okay, so this would be simple, because 
Actually, let's be easy, because dual, dual, like, dual. Brace the camera, okay. ran away. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of the the general... Okay, well, that, first of all, that's on point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, can I, um, use, like, can I use the grapple to tear it? Do the what <laughs> now to what now? Could I use the, like, the Mandalorian Electro Grapple Bracer to ensnare it? I mean, yeah, it, it's vulnerable to ensnare. I do believe you have to increase the amount of advantage you need, maybe? Or is that just knocked down? It's just ensnare, too. No, no, I'm talking about you. Like you the... There might be a rule that if it's huge or it's harder to ensnare, but oh, I don't okay. know. That might just be knocked down. Let me check. You would like the Battle and of Hulk. Ensnare. ensnare its lake and put around it in circles. Paris the most was... Doesn't no, yeah, I got it. Okay, it it's just thing. it'll just have a really easy time of breaking out because it's an. Oh, okay. Gear, but it's that was taking its action. <laughs> oh, then I, I won't. <laughs> Looking at I, that SpongeBob gif, I just imagine oh, Alamai gets smashed to the ground and just decides to cover herself up in the sand. It's like, nope. Uh, I, okay. I'm, what? Also, you what? forgot its defense and its upgrade, though. Do you want to reroll that me? with a plus roll black and plus? Yeah, right. Yes. What, plus what is that result? <laughs> You probably want to. Okay, audience at home, X roll the check. It was it was still technically wrong because he missed an an upgrade and a setback in there. But it's got two yellows, two greens, four blues, and one purple. The end results of this check were one success. All right, so that'd be one and red. And six of the dice was attack. blank. Yeah, yeah red one one attack. red, one black. All right, sorry because like, I had I decreased by one, so it's like yes. Yeah. <gasps> no, it's still that doesn't count the downgrade for every one. This is the proper one, yeah. Okay. Much better. Still not a whole hell of a lot of damage, but... Let's see, that would be do. about... I'm short, so that'd only be 11, so I actually don't actually damage it. No, you do one wound. Oh, I do it's one. It's pierce. Okay. It doesn't have cortosis. Yeah, pierce. Pierce too. Great. yeah, so you take it soaked down from 12 to 10, so you do two wounds. One, I do two, and then I think I can actually... Well, you got a triumph, so you can crit at least once. I can actually double crit. Okay, so you roll a normal crit, because it's got durable too. Oh, okay. Let's try this then. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, Durable so minus 20. Yeah, but he's going to double crit, so it's... Actually, no, because double critting only adds plus 10, so it's still minus, it is, minus it 10. Is, it is oh, okay. The vicious. Yeah, if I actually even could actually get... I, it just to the best get, I couldn't actually deal any damage to it. Because okay. it'd be minimum. Oh, uh, I did it wrong, sorry. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I, I can look at the crit. table, because that would just be 32. Yeah, it'd just be 32, yeah. Actually, yeah, the table Where are you, crit table? Okay, 30, 31 to 32. It is stunned. Ow, it's staggered until the end of its next turn. Blah! Easy. Can't Blah! Easy, sorry. It's fine. That doesn't matter, he can't regenerate his own crits. Hmm. But he can take no actions until the end of his next turn. He's very unhappy. You you aim for the eyes and kind of distract it, and it covers its face. Sings <laughs> 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 wildly. Okay. Uh, now two PC slots. So you guys, you guys have some uh... thoughts to think. <laughs> also, yeah. um, I actually have one. Oh, yeah, what's up? Uh, next time I take a boost, because I actually have one advantage left over. Okay. Okay, lost, go. Okay, then. So, how many uh, negatives would it be to make a call shot to the same knee that our mob tried to hit at? Because I remember call shots are more of a thing you need to wor- worry about. Uh, well, you take. Basically, you take a maneuver to aim, but instead of adding boost dice, you add two black dice. Okay. But, w- what. W- what, why would you be called shotting? No, I thought, like, just, like, hit it in the same knee. Okay. And just, like, hopefully do more damage to it. But at the same time, when you think of it that way, yeah, I probably shouldn't. Just, just shoot it. No, there's not specifically a, like, ooh, I can do a cold shot to ignore its soak. That oh, would, no, I was just hoping to damage for a, its knee more. Nah, that would uh, just be, uh, like, if you decide to crit or something. Wait, Alma isn't moving at the moment. No, she's prone currently? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm like, would Boots see that and be like, hmm, quick stim pack. If you wanted. I think you would know that she's got stim pack armor, but still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You she have to move. She ran up. So cur- currently you guys are in a big circular room. It's probably medium all the way across. Um, Since I have the military belt pouch, which allows me to take out a, med- a stim pack as an incidental, can I use my maneuver to stim pack her and then shoot the rancor? No, because she's, that's what I was about to say. She is in front of you. She moved up to stab it. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. So she is currently engaged with it. Um, you guys are probably because she got to engage are probably short because, or at least she was short because she ran ahead. We'll, 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 we'll flatten the curve and say you're all currently short. Okay. Well, on the plus side, like I might as well. Tr- I mean, you do know that it's it. staggered. Like it's covering its face. It, it 
can't get an action for a little bit. Okay, in which case, yeah, I will. Boots will run in and stim pack her again. Okay. Spending so that's your stim third pack. stim pack, but how much stim pack specialization do you have, Boots? Two. So that's five. Wow, nice. Uh, so that brings Aramon to two out of eleven. Instead your, of seven. Your, your entire bones hurt less than they did a second ago. Aramon will cough, probably spit out some blood. Blood, sand, what's the difference? It's all red. Actually, I don't know if the volcanic sand is red. Oh, no, it's, it's black. Comfy. Black volcanic oh, black. sand. I'm not going to lie. It's like this was like Armand considering making um, getting a like a meditation garden with this shit. It's like mm, mm. it's nice, but sorry about after the break course not trying to kill her. Listen, Armand literally just had her brain knocked around. She couldn't think of anything else but how comfy the fucking yeah. sand is. Yeah, it is totally it's, 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 it, This it's is like a fucking point. Tom like... and Jerry cartoon, right? Like you go to like <laughs> shiv him and he just went boom. Mm-hmm. Armand <laughs> calls has, out like, of his hole. Yeah, was that where like one of your best roles in this game so far? Probably. I mean, he's got a very yeah. spicy pool, but yeah. Yeah, he does. But yeah, like, I was I was gonna have Boots make a sassy call, but I'm like, no, at this point in time, it's a bad idea to sass Alma as, like, she got hit by that. No, not a good idea. Alright. Okay, so you moved, you did an incidental takeout, you did a, I think it's another maneuver to use an item. Yes. So, yeah, technically, right. if you choose to suffer too strain, you could probably still get your action in. Be point blank shot. You know what? Let's go on the strain train, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of us. You're just going to aim into its guts and fire? Okay. Okay, All right, so normally this would be difficulty three, but you actually reduce... It's actually easy for you because it's big and you reduce the difficulty because of the number eight. Yes. However, though, because adversary is upgraded, so one red die. An extra boost die from me. Oh, yeah, that's right. One boost die from you. Don't forget Um, it has one defense. That's it. That's all you got. And I've also His got tankiness well, is I've having a fuck got... ton of soak and a fuck ton of wounds and durable. I've also got another um yeah. setback die. Oh yeah, that's right, fear. Fear Fear is the mind killer. Yeah. Take that into your back knee. <laughs> so fourteen damage again. That's a whole two wounds, buddy. Hey! You do actually hurt Holy it. You break. get it up in its guts and just Shoot in the soft underbelly and so like, do that bad. I hit him with his tum tum. Um, I'll give you a boost die. Well, whoever goes next, boost die. Okay. Well, that's only me. Yes. So yes. Cavus. Okay. Cavus so upon Cavus. <laughs> Cavus upon Cavus. Right. Like um, I know this. This right. So a this thing is hit Karama. B. Well, I don't think there is a B. I, I, it's scary. Oh, it is scary, see. but like you got to. But it is scary. I'm just like I'm just like, I'm just like I'm just like what sort of silhouette objects are here? None. Oh, very empty. Okay. I mean, it's not technically empty, but okay. they're all inside cells. Yeah, like the chairs were broken up. The benches and stuff. So it would be. Up. There'd be a heck of some other checks in there to, like, rip them through things and then also throw them at a guy. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to boo into engage. And I'll just care. I'll just play in terms of like... Okay, so then I'll move into engage and I'll take... I'll quick draw and take two strength to aim and attack. Okay. Yeah, I can uh, find the... Bucky, where are all the other troops right now? Right, so... Well, they were with Arma. Now they're just kind of like, what? They're just kind of standing like, uh, what do we do? Shoot! They're just looking at it and just screaming like this. So, adversary one is one... One defense. Defense? Yeah. And I don't... I don't know if the... I don't know if the... The silhouette rule applies to melee. I guess this is like the secret boss of the location. Yeah, no, just a boss. Like yeah. one bomb, man. It's the a big gun. I would have fought three of the bone side dudes instead of this thing, honestly. <laughs> but this is what we asked for. A challenge. Okay. I got squick. Yeah. Well, that's because we've discovered you're very squishy. Yeah. Again, partly like actually let me, let me check my top. Okay. I think I think Steel Hand has a couple points of toughness. Yeah, I... they'll be good because toughen is a toughen's I'm a pretty good deal. It's like plus two wounds, isn't it? Tarts, but... yeah. Was that Mark? Uh, well, 
look out if there's anything on melee with silhouettes. But I'm okay. Well, yeah. Someone's actually asking the game master side of thing, but it's probably not. <laughs> I'm very sure. Look. Yep. Yep. No. Okay. So just roll average. Yeah, it's, that's Sony. Yeah, it's the same average. So Rupusa. Additional combat mod. Rupusa, Pusa, Size differences, silhouette. I, I know I should be used to it at this point, but Moss and his fucking ability to roll triumphs, I swear. Damn. I mean, you okay, so that's down. 10 damage, but all that's going to be Ian, I think? No. <laughs> no. No Cortosis, guys. Breach still counts. Yeah. So, so you only get damage. two soak. So that's six then? Goes back down to six? So that's eight. Yeah, eight. so four, ten, so that's eight. Yeah, eight, okay. So he's taking 17 wounds. And then I guess crit minus 20. What was that? Juice? Seven? No, I said he's taking 17. Okay. Okay, I'll just crit and I'll take that strain. Alright, yes, that's a strain. Remember, it's crit minus 20. Uh, crit minus 20, but there's already a crit on it, right? So it would be minus 10, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does have a crit already, so it would only be minus 10. That is right. correct, yes. Oh, it would be, yeah, alright, yeah. Because <clears throat> stacking. It's uh, right. It is a minus. He does crit. have a Space and minus ten. Oh, mm-hmm. that bad. will be really helpful. What? <laughs> Agonizing wound. Let's increase the difficulty of all uh, brawn and agility checks until the end of the encounter. So you slice one of his rancor tendons, and you know. <laughs> By the way, kids at home, uh, uh, stunlock is bad. Oh, there's a. Are crate dragons three? Oh, they should be bigger. They're probably four in like the book. Rule? What? There, uh... Lucky pulled the silhouette roll. Yeah. Yeah. It is silver, yeah. Or okay, so it does say all attacks. Doesn't matter. You still hit okay, and crit. So it's fine. We're moving on. Not take the yeah. And Omega is still mad about stunning. <laughs> when you only have one action, taking away an action is a big deal, kids. <laughs> oh, you're right. I did take. Oh, is that what stun does? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what stagger it is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Where cool. it's only the 31st session. Alright, so. Yeah. Uh, to so it's a, it is now a PC slot. Because you guys did get one before it. Yep. Hmm. Uh, well, if no one's going to go first, uh, Arma will again go first. Chop up for that incidental. Do you yep. think... What? Uh, do you think Battle Petition might actually help her here? Not really. Because okay. now I'm, I'm still angry. Fair. Yes. Let the yes. rage flow through you. Shush you. So, not right now. For um, not so as an incidental, she will jump up again. You can you roll. Hmm. Uh, Arma is looking a little ragged, a little bloody, a little squished, but she is going to yell a um, a cry of defiance and challenge, and she's going to bum it again. <laughs> Slap her with the back of a glove. I challenge you. <laughs> Ten paces at dawn. Okay. Ten Rencor paces. Ah, ah. <laughs> so. Oh, no. I'm leaving, no, I'm leaving okay, committed. I'm just, I'm trying to, okay, so I get a free upgrade. I'm going to spend the destiny point. Yep. And you reduce but, the difficulty by one, but it does, it gets upgraded and defense. Yes. Uh, so, this now. Okay. So, that would be y y g then just r, then a s, and then but a p as well. Because I have guys who'd be like, oh, the general is up! Fire! Supporting fire! So, pew, 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 pew. This should be. Come on, yeah. you clones! You want to live forever? Yes. <laughs> well, actually, and you know, because my fucking manu- my maneuver, I will take one to aim. Solid. Because it's enough it for me to get up. Get in there. Just to get a bonus for attack, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a um. Well, you know, wait. That's what. Do I get? An- wait. Do I get another upgrade for? You decrease the difficulty by one. I decrease the difficulty by one for attack. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. That's right. It okay. would be average, so it is now just one one red. red. Okay. And one second. Okay, I think I got everything. Okay, cool. Just double check. I mean, I hit it. All this work, and I just got one more success than last time. Thanks. Thanks. So, uh, what's damage. your damage? That'll one. be... So that is six. Um, six. It'd be eight points total for each one. So that's a whole six. six. It is now at 23 wounds. It howls in rage! Its big glowing veins turn super red! Oh no! Oh no! It's only at half. Oh no! Phase oh, two, no. bitches. 
uh, it now, much like those Dianogas, has plus one soak, plus one damage, and gains a second initiative slot at the end of the order. It's very angry. Yay, no. <laughs> uh, but so for its first action, because it's stunned, um, it will disengage. So it shuffles away from the tiny pains in its ankles and knees um, and scoots back <laughs> to short range. Um, and it will take a guarded stance. It'll take two strain and it'll take a guarded stance. Not that that matters super a lot, but it's trying. You know, as it, you know, blinks the light out of its eyes and it kind of, what's going on? So now there are three PC slots and then its slot, its second slot at the end. So, whoomst! Okay. So I'm the start. I'm highlighting the shoot, Seussman. Okay. Well, it did just disengage, so. Okay, in which case, if Axe isn't going to speak up, I'll go. Yeah, I just, I've been getting messages for like three different people right now, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's time for you to die. I shall aim. I, and I love how sassy you guys are sometimes. Good for you. Nice go-getter attitude. So, <laughs> die with point number eight? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really bad when you say it like that. It does, yeah. I think it should be die via. So, one, yeah, wedding. Uh, so, one red and uh, two setback dice, right? Because of his defense and my thing. Uh, oh. Yes. Fear, yes. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else? No, because it took a guarded stance. Uh, I'd like to uh, oh. use my natural trooper ability for once per session to revolve a. Gunnery check or ranged heavy check because fuck oh, we should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do that with my first check before like, oh wait, I didn't actually roll it right. How? Game, why did they all end up mostly empty? <laughs> oh, come on. I don't think that's any damage. Okay. Yeah, what's your uh, total there? How much damage? Uh, three? Uh, Twelve. Nope, he has thirteen uh, soak right now. Shit. Yeah. Two advantages though. Whoever goes next gets two boost die. Okay. okay, let's try this. That's more fun to go. No, axe. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna aim. <laughs> so we're gonna head. You know, you could always take strain to double aim. Yeah, double aim. It's not like this has strain causing things. This is a nemesis, right? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This no, was rag. All rag I will. Take your, I will. I will deal into your temptation. Oh, what? Temptation? I could also even do two more I strain to make it where it's so actually... It's it's enough, it only make it a purple, because... Mm, yeah, no. But I'm not. I'll just I'll deal, I'll deal with one red. Yeah, you could. One red is not bad. Yeah, let's see. Boost, boost, boost. Boost, boost, boost. Boost. Red. Sit back. Okay, mm. I think... Let's see. You probably should have called your auto-fire attack on that. I don't actually have that talent yet. <laughs> oh, you should get that talent. I it's twenty five XP. It'll get there I, eventually. I've been getting everything. I've been getting my defense. So anyway, yeah. that's that is uh, damage. Damage. 13, 13 pierce two. Oh, I just oh that's a pierce. whole two wounds you've done twice. Good on you. Good job. So four, and then I actually I can also double crit again. Okay, go for it. So this would technically yeah, be thunders. plus ten because he's got two, two already. Wounds. It is two. Would be minus yeah. plus twenty. So yeah, it'll, be, it'll actually be plus ten. Please don't get the stun one again. <laughs> I'll be very annoyed. Uh, no, I, you have to put a space. Oh yes. Yeah. Cover his base. Overpowered. Oh, okay. Roll it again. Overpowered. Uh, oh. Yeah, with the exact same pool. Simple. Here we go. You can just copy it. This oh, yeah. is going to be interesting. Ship. No, that would only be that purple. I'm thinking about using my. Again. Maybe I should use my. Destiny pool because you've given me a lot to upgrade some of your checks, but you're already, you're already, you guys are already rolling like one upgraded die that doesn't really do a lot. Yeah, just copy and paste the same thing, X. I'm four dark. Oh yeah, yeah. I was wrong. You you don't need to type it again. Don't worry. No, I wasn't. I was like, oh wait, wait. I was like, wait. You don't press the you don't press the more button to copy. You just highlight it. I just seem to. Nice. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay. okay, I think that actually does something this time. So that's sixteen, is... eighteen, okay. eighteen points. Pretty decent. 18 pierce 2. Yeah, 18 pierce so 2 that twice. Is 5. So that's 10 wounds each. That's 10 wounds and I can crit. Jeez. Okay. So that we get a plus 20. No. It might be dead. Maybe. Mm, it is. <sighs> I, 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 I rolled amazingly, I guess. I mean, no, I'm it's not, not your fault. It's the game's fault for including stagger. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
And I say, you can't get really mad because you got that effect on a random crit roll. So. No, I can't. Yeah, yeah I, I can't be mad at Like I said, I wouldn't be mad at you if you roll. I, I said this when it, I talked about don't roll staggered again. I wouldn't be mad at you. I'd be mad at the table because it's yeah. uh, you have no control over that. It's just uh, and and technically that was always possible. You got your weight onto damage. Uh, but no, yeah, you do actually. You kind of find an opportunity. You kind of hit it. It exposes its face. It roars. You're like, wait, its mouth is soft. So you start firing into its mouth and actually find wherever it's tiny, teeny, tiny, because you just know, despite how huge this guy is, it's got to have a teeny, tiny. It's only in one. It's got a tiny brain. Um, <laughs> you find something important, and it just kind of... It, like, takes one step, two steps, and it gets, like, halfway up to the third step and just flops onto the ground between you. It's like, over, it's like... If there was if there is oh. a vast equivalent to Star Wars, it'd be like that kind of moment where it's like targeting lock, and it's like I I teeth teeth. Honestly, the you guys are probably glad because the fact the fact that we we got Arma pretty good because um y'all are lucky she decided oh, to get right, up in there first because right, if you guys were still right. engaged, um sweeping blows is awful. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> spend it, spend one triumph on a successful brawl check to hit all creatures engaged with the target, so it gets AOE melee. Yeah. And I yeah. did think about your range shenanigans. It was it. It would have been able to hit you with its chains. They're not very powerful. They're only damage six and crit six, but they're disorient and ensnare. So it and they're medium range because it's huge. Um, yeah. So it would yeah. have been able to try and chain punch you, but no. It. Okay, so I healed all that strain. That trap doesn't really do anything. So. Yeah. Behold, he is dead. Blah, Three strain and two wounds, Blah. which, funnily enough, puts me back at zero wounds. I we only so. had to. We only had to <laughs> infuse you with like three stim packs. Uh, two, yeah, two stim packs. Like one, in the, uh, like one and a really good one. Like honestly, like I, I am very much enjoying. Like usually, I can get back to zero runs pretty quick. But god damn, I think that, yeah, that was my third stim today. I think I only used. Yeah, no, you, uh, you definitely need to try and find some of that tough and just maybe get a little more wiggle room. I will say, yeah. like, this mission's been pretty good at being like, oh, we're, like, giving each other supporting fire of all the boosts I've actually really helping each other. Is this boost train is actually yeah. getting results. Let me pull up. Let me pull up. Yeah, right. yeah that was actually yeah. a good thing. Yeah, because it's like, this I was... am just gonna, I am laughing eternally. Uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing. immediately squint. Oh, I, I'm gonna need uh, boost yeah. to actually kill me with Hey, uh, Law, do you <laughs> want to roll to heal strain at all? Let's see. With all of my two strain, let's give it a go. So, uh, all advantage. Please don't curse me. No, there you go. <laughs> Got it. I uh, saw the two before the success, oh. and I was about to, like, saw, like, raging. Can Boots, if you'll come out, because I actually, actually have it. Yeah, I, I think we realize, oh, Arma, you're fine, and, the, and then and then we look over and realize Camo is, like, covered in blood from where he got so then, sawed. Should I make, would you rather I make a medicine check, or just you give me one of your stim packs to hit I'll you I'll give with? you one of my stim, I got three on me. Yep, heal seven. I want to get impacts now. Actually, shit. Because I've got Maybe two left, and I'm saving them. some of your way back. I'll try that. Though uh, Cabs did find an extra. Three stim packs. Three stim yeah. packs. If you have again, that's if, why I like. If Arama has zero stim packs, you might be able to lend her one you found. Yeah. All in, the, in this situation, I'll it's just um toss over a stim pack. Oh, she'll I'll just it. toss over a stim pack to her. I was like, keep so, that one. Just to make it clear, in combat, a boots will use his stim packs, but if we're out of combat, he will be like. Give me the stim packs you have, because I know how to use it better. Makes sense. The uh, Arma will load up the stim pack into the armor. Probably a nice little slot. Just go. Yep. Really, lo- we loaded like a shotgun. I'm, I'm assuming it's like some sort of like chess piece that I just have to like pop out the fucking green vial and slide it into the armor or something like that. But um, all right. So we have dead rancor. There is an Arma sized depression in the ground. Arma uh, also has depression. Yes. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. We should go, we should go save the people. Actually, you know what? We could call this episode Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a very dark place. <laughs> yes. I, Arama hums it to herself as she lies on the ground. Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. Yes, uh, Arama was totally uh, smashed face down first. Just mm. There was no yeah, light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are some people. They're in, they're in cells. Um, they're in various states of responsiveness. Hopefully, they're not more rancor. Now, check: Are they have they been drugged? Um, so I said various states of responsiveness. Some of them do. Some of them appear to have been been doped upon some, but others are like up against the bars. There's probably a small amount of cheering when the rancor goes down. 
Mm-hmm. That, by the way, Loth, is when we do play the triumphant version of Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Wait. <laughs> Too late. Uh, check, check the uh, gate real quick. How's it locked? Uh, it probably has a space padlock. Doesn't matter. Lightsaber. Yeah. So I tell people to stand back. A Jedi. A Jedi. A Jedi. The call goes down the line from the people who can call Jedi. That's fine. A I Jedi. Will, I will explain the situation to them and tell them that we want to get, that we are here to get you all out. Um, we will, I basically want to take them up to the main hall where we basically fort it up. Yeah, where you basically secure the place. I, I yeah. think, because now that we have to end at three hours, but we are at almost about three hours, and it is getting a little mm-hmm. late. So I think I think yeah. after your big Rancor fight... No, that's solid. We had, like, a mini-boss and a big-boss fight. Yeah. 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 We, we could be you know, te- technically, I think, Ax, I think it was Axe who said this, had it right. This was technically the bonus boss. You didn't have to go here, but I knew you were going to go here. So. <laughs> I feel kind of good that it's like, oh, man, I'm happy I took it out. It probably could have gone way worse. Or maybe. Uh, yeah. No, and uh, you guys were unfortunately playing right into its strong suit by clustering. Um, though, I will say, uh, especially compared to RMOP, uh, like, Boots, for instance, is way tankier, and I think even Kavis has a has a higher wound threshold. And yeah. you also probably would be rolling six successes every time. Yeah, also true, threshold. probably not. If, I, I assume at some point my rolls would have taken over and I would have rolled just five advantage. Like, be like, okay, well. I mean, you're rolling like six yeah. I am, I am still that's sitting that's on a that's few why, wounds. Yeah. But I am, um, <laughs> I got six soak, and I'm sitting at five out of 21 wounds. Oh, yeah. You probably should have taken it from it. Oh, yeah, from Hermit, I can actually get the Enduring Talent. Nice. It's 15. So, uh, actually, this is a technical check, because you guys have some small amounts of wounds. Um, other than just medicining them, uh, Kavis, do you have the, the uh, magnitude upgrade for heal yet? Uh, I have the, let's because you can't heal a lot, but if if both you and Boots have like two or three wounds, you might be able to try and just one. do a little AOE. No, just go okay. to the force powers. Is, uh, yes, I do have the magnitude thing. Uh, you I, could you could try and roll to AOE heal. I think the magnitude upgrade. I would have to get like I think I have to take one to activate, then two to activate magnitude. I mean, you got three force pips. That's still a decent remember. pool, right? Decent chance. I I have two force die. Oh, I thought you were up to three. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'll try. Mm. Uh, no, I don't yeah, think that works. You... Yeah, can't do it then. All right. I can activate it just to heal myself, but that would use up the stim pack slot. <laughs> so no. Yeah, oh, it counts using. It. Oh, it counts as the same thing as stim pack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's yeah, the benefit. The benefit really of okay. other than if you get some upgrades, the main primary benefit of of building up the force heal as well. One, obviously, you don't need to carry stim packs with you, but two is that once you get a couple upgrades, it's, in there, it's pretty easy to. Uh, I only got one wound, so you just want to give kill me, I guess. But it also probably make it harder for. Yeah. You can pop it over it an area acts, pretty easily. It, it pretty much acts like one of those repair patches, just oh, okay. doesn't decrease. Yes, Axe, let's heal your one wound while I sit here on five, because that's the more important thing to worry about. I mean, you only, only can heal one, right? Yeah, I can heal... I can heal three wounds because in int three. Oh, okay. Then never mind. If I can heal himself. To heal more, if I want to heal more wounds, I would need to get to the yeah, screen color crates or to um, the mess and up control up there. So, um, do you want to actually pop that heal on anybody? Uh, Boots, how many stim packs have you chugged today? Um, that's, I believe, well, I, I haven't hit myself in a while, but I've already hit myself once because of the, um, the Dianoga, so. Yeah. My next one will only heal six. That's but as I said, I'm saving my, saving stim packs, just in case. Well, you could hit him, you could be hit for three with take care of most of your wounds. If you so yeah, choose. I'll be, okay. I'll be brought down to two, but that's up to Moth oh. unless he wants Kavis to heal all his wounds. I'll kill Lost Sam. All right. Thank you. Wah, 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 so you heal three. Whatever your yes. wounds are, just close up because we established on screen multiple times about force healing. Now and sorry, I I'm I'm not sure if I misheard. We these this also counts as a stim pack heal. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Okay. So, Actually, in which case, so Marv, heal yourself. Not, so I that yeah. way, if I heal myself, I can heal more. If okay, you get what I mean. Heal myself. Because you'll be brought yeah, down to I'll... zero. I'll heal myself. 
because, okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Because right. if I hit myself with a stim, stim pack, I'll heal for six. All right. Um, and so oh, technically, yeah, as you guys are walking around open pack, cells, so um, you do find there is another grate that leads into an undercroft uh, under the pens, which are mostly underground. Um, they appear to be like a mixture of mineshaft tunnels and almost catacombs. Um, you do a quick tactical sweep. Um, it looks like this is where the Bandogora inter their own dead, but that's about it. There's incense offerings, you know, like dried fruit, other stuff, probably more gross offerings. Like, hey, have some finger bones, dead buddy. Um, <laughs> but uh, the tunnels all the appear to be a dead end. Okay. There is no double secret escape passage in the Undercroft. But it, it looks like either of these were the pre-existing mine tunnels that they just converted into, hey, we can put dead people here. Or this is actually where they quarried some of the volcanic rock. So basically, when we come back next time, you guys will uh, move on and defeat us, perhaps, the inner courtyard, which definitely 100% has a hedge maze. <laughs> I, I thought we could end it just like looking in, like looking in there and be like, "What is it?" And then end it is it like, "Yeah, you can look at the." Oh no, we gotta we gotta coordinate with Shark about like the uh, slaves and how we're gonna get them out. Ah, uh, fair. Yeah, yeah. So, like, do you want to load them up on the like, you even send them out immediately? Or do you want to hold them here? Speed. I mean, there's all the like those ballista towers we can like kind of stay in. What? Oh. These are people who need help immediately. They uh, are underfed, malnourished, on drugs. Yes, I would like to get them home out of here. And maybe... uh, there, remember, there is a there is a uh, the LATs are pretty universal transporters. Like yeah. they they have space for medical droids to unfold. So you could oh, you yeah, could probably right. convert. They carry like thirty people. I think I said there's a couple dozen. You could probably empty out one of yours and use it as a hospital. That just means that you might have to make some extra return trips. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll probably. I actually numbers. How many? Do you have numbers of actually how many prisoners there were? Uh, let's see. I said a cup. I said a couple dozen, but round numbers are are you know kind of weird. So let's say it's twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Yeah, that's one LA TV. Yeah. Well, I'll get. Okay. I guess definitely at least get one delegate one LA TV to getting them some on the spot treatment. We'll see where we go from there. Yeah, you All basically right. you have them stage right. in the base. Maybe you know. Uh. Get some of the ones who are unresponsive to lay down on stretchers or whatever. Pass out some bottles of water, some heated meals. Boots can hand them candy bars. Yeah. I guess okay, you just so uh, you guys cleared the tower. You guys okay. cleared the barracks hall. You defeated yeah. the mortician man, and you defeated the rancor. So that's a good yeah. solid 20 EXP. Yeah. Okay. okay. Arma definitely okay. gets her motivation EXP. <laughs> yes, I was about to say that. <laughs> People are counting yes, on me to be punched by this Rancor. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, everyone me. other than me gets so 20 much. XP. Yep. Why did I spell this Seshub? Most definitely. Who knows? <laughs> Who I think knows? Mark did really well with, like, fighting that mortician dude on, on your own. So yeah, clearly, I need more yeah. fucking dodge. I kind of wish I got... I kind of wish I got critted by that because then I'm like, yes, I would like to use this god awful crit to get a battle scar and pick up another rank of dodge. Please, thanks, bye. Damn it. But, you, know, you just give me a big fish. <laughs> I'm using. Okay, so for that force rating, I'm going gonna... to. For that 25 XP, I'm getting force rating. Okay. Three. All right. For drive the mission. Hmm. I don't know. Probably not today. I'm not gonna lie. I think our model was more for more for driving the mission than you were, my dude. Fair. Yeah. No, I don't. Think, I just did the thing. It does. Yeah, I just don't think that in in particular you didn't necessarily because you were you were all all always advancing forward on the mission anyway. I don't think Camo necessarily yeah. did anything in particular to be like in particular advance. Um, you have done that in the past, but not this session. That's okay. Yeah. And so, all right, that's everything. So that's, we're going to wrap up now. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all yeah. that stuff. And watch the AP like five more times. Okay, okay, thanks, and bye. Saving. Have a lovely